Smoke it, we got here the CEO from Space Packs. Thanks for having us. Thanks for the hospitality. Always. This is Grant. Nesto. How you feeling? What, what up? What up? Hell yeah, how you feeling? How you doing? What we smoking today, guys? Shit, besides besides having uh the CEO of Space Packs in the building, Grant, uh we're gonna be smoking on Lanes. Let's pass that around. Check so that we got, out. We got the Lanes brand. We're gonna be fucking with the coffin candy. For some reason, Grant told me to pick up the coffin candy. He was fucking with that. Coffin candy by who? And then we're gonna be fucking with that black leaf. That lanes. Oh, it's I need to try black that. Cherry by black leaf. This is that lanes, bro. This is that lanes with that Z cut. This is a Z cut for sure. Hell yeah, and then... Doesn't say the strain, though. How you feeling, Greg? What's going on, brother? Shit, you know, another day. I'm good. Let me I'm see blessed. that one. How Let you me see doing? that one. We're doing Let me good, see bro. That. We, was, we was just running around uh, trying to find these uh, flavors you told us to pick up. <laughs> Should we open this one up real quick? Which one we open? Are we trying this one first? Let's open that one. Yeah, I want to see this shit. I can't so, be looking at bags, bro. I got to be looking at tree. Yo, Grant, so how you feeling right now, gang? I know I know. Uh, Space Packs is about to be going and being in a bunch of legal stores, bro. Woo! You're, it's, it's, it feels like you're at that, fi at that, fi at that final, at that final uh, mark point, you know? That's that gas right there. It smells good. I got to see how it smokes, though. Sorry, I'm just trying to smoke the weed. No, no, it's all good. It smells good. I like it. We're going to see how it smokes, though. What's yeah. that one called? It's the coffee candy. It smells good. How you feeling about it? It's funny, it? I... This bag is so funny, dog. <laughs> like, what were you gonna say? <laughs> I smelled another batch of it. I like this batch more. This one? Yeah. Yeah. Where did you smell that? It's batch? different, huh? I saw. I was like, yeah, I, I was at a Trans Bay, Trans Bay qualifier. They had a booth, but I ain't gonna lie, it wasn't sealed. So maybe because it was uh, oxidized. Nah, they had it like in a bowl. And it was like out for a while, so maybe like motherfuckers just opening their finger fucking. So that's why I wanted to actually have the real experience. Don't you hate when fools and, and not judge it based on that? Don't, don't you think? Hey, don't you I hate when? Hey, don't you hate when people finger fuck the like the when they looking at a package shit they're like? Like yeah. damn, bro. It's like they don't know how to really. Uh, I look at the pack like with appreciate the. Appreciate it. I'm like looking at it. I'm just smelling like motherfuckers like this. I'm like, damn. <laughs> nah, you're grinding yeah. your weed and shit. Not even just when they look at a pack. Also, when you're like at a, at the farm and shit, people, are, they all, all try to squeeze the nugs at the top. It's like, come on, bro. Squeeze the ones at the bottom. And earlier you told me, yo, the ones at the bottom sometimes even hold a little more TAC. What about TAC? But for some reason, like, Maybe. it just smells a little better. Yeah. Yo, and that's why even today... I had to bring you the Skittles that we're growing. What's your honest review on it? Just from touching it and smelling it. It's not done. It's on day 39. And um, we're going to go 55 days of, of flour. But uh, I wanted to just bring it by and see what Grant thought of the smell. No, you can, you can see the... Surviving the, the there, Skittle right? nose coming out. Even only in day 35. Which is a good sign. I'm already knowing how this shit smells. Hell yeah, but yo, today... Which is different. I wish, I wish we could smoke it. Just roll this shit right now. Man, huh. man, you know it's a process. But once, it, once it's ready, once it gets cut hey. down, I'll make sure you do one of the first Just take the leaders off, put it in the grinder. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, that shit won't smoke. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, back in the day, so? nah. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, back in the day, you, when I was a kid, you find something, we like, shit, get away with it and do what you said. I'm like, shit, we blitz. Man, <laughs> there was a time in high school, <laughs> me and my friend, we there was a backyard in like Venice that had like a little outdoor grow and I was in shit what grade was I in? I was in like ninth or tenth grade. <laughs> <laughs> we somehow there was a dog and late at night we pull up in my whip, my homie hops the fence, he starts tossing these like six feet plants over. No way. So and we, we tarped them all and put them in the fucking backseat of my like. Oh, yeah, I hit the lick then. We thought we hit the lick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hit the lick. We thought we hit the lick. Yeah. Why? So what we ended up with some, some weed like that. <laughs> oh, I thought they got you. And you're like, nah, we hit the lick on ourselves. She wasn't even fully grown yet. <laughs> I mean, That's we, we, got, we made a little bit of something, something, but not like we thought when we did it in ninth, tenth grade when we thought it was the lick. He said Yo, he started so throwing branches talk, over. Talking about. The past, bro. Uh, when was the first time you you smoked? What was that experience like? I was in either seventh or eighth grade. I forget. It's all I'm telling you, bro. I'm always gonna be saying this. Shout, shout out to Lush One. <laughs> <laughs> to Lush One? Yeah, Lush One, my boy from you know your kids. 
Oh, he, he's the first person you smoked with? Yeah, he got me high. <laughs> he got me high at his parents' crib. For real? And what well, was that experience like? I just remember we had the munchies, got high as fuck, eating cereal. And I remember walking back to my crib, but I don't remember much else other than that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, you just remember he was lit. What was he smoking on? Do you remember what you guys smoked on by any chance? <laughs> that lemon tree gelato. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hell, what the hell fuck? Yeah, 20 years ago? <laughs> yeah, something like that. You feel me? Oh, that's like, hilarious. I, like, I don't know. It was just some... Some Bubba, probably some OG. Yeah, I don't even think it was OG at the time. But back in the day, definitely... We were the only ones smoking OG, Master and Bubba, when everybody else in the country was smoking them BCs and whatever they call chronic. You yep, know what I mean? Exactly. Because I don't know, I feel like if you were from LA, you were always the ones with the best weed, first and foremost, and everybody wanted to copy us. Yep. Right, right, right. And I still don't feel like that changed, regardless of what everybody else wanted to make it seem like. Mm-hmm. No, 100%, 100%. Hey, you hear that? And why do you think is that? Because uh, maybe LA was first to the market, first to attack. Well, LA, you gotta you gotta always say the Bay too, bro. You can't nah, just... the, 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 the the Bay, the Bay, you know, switched it up. With, you know, with the Za. They went to the Za, but I'm saying before that, like motherfuckers would go over there and bring hundred bricks from Hunger or some bullshit. Yeah, but we had the OGs and the oh, the OGs and for the sure. masters, yeah. and that was running the game. Oh, that's us right here. That was running the game yeah. when I was. Up. Yeah, that was us right there. Like the OG, all that fucking potent. Could it was all, yeah. yeah, the Bay always had like depths, bro. They had like, I don't know, outdoor packs. Right, but man, they put them, you know. And then they fucking they started came, getting that fire in. You know, they came with the Mendo bread, the Thin Man cookies, the Girl Scout cookies. The Mendocino, shit. right? I remember that you Mendo know, bread, that, bro. That purple weed. Yeah. That weed, that granddaddy purple. That had that Mendo bread, and they had Mendo bubble, bro. I remember my boy would come and bring some shit from Mendocino, bro. And it would be is that that's up up north because fast forward even up until t- end of 2017, what you know OGs were running the market really you yeah know? yeah but then there was that cer- certain purple weed with certain strains that certain taste and all that bullshit. that still held that same numbers as the OGs. Yo, but hold up, you you getting ahead of me, bro? Uh, so you first start smoking weed with your boy around eighth, ninth grade, and then. It was how, like seven, how seventh fast- or eighth grade. It was middle school for sure. I just all right. It was middle school for sure. So how school. how do we fast forward to now where you're at today, bro? And I don't even know. It's crazy. Like he said, I don't even know. know. I like bro, <laughs> on some real shit. Like, my, life, my life's not real. I swear, bro. On some real shit. A lot of people are talking about that Astro Tech, bro. Like we had that runts wave, and it seemed like everybody had fun with the runts. Then the candy, the Skittles, and for some reason that Astro Tech just keeps coming up. Bro. I, I ain't finna lie. I had that cut. I had the cut before everybody played it out. And Shout which, out to the homies. They know I had it too. <laughs> yo, so they were mad, mean, low key, bullshit. What you, you mean know? you had that cut? Hey, yo, and um, uh, we have that coffee candy. Oh, uh, shit. Like that coffee candy. Let's get it right. Who got a light? Light it up. Which one now should I roll up right after you? Oh, uh, roll, 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 roll the, the lames. The hey, you, already, you already open that shit? No. Should uh, we open it? I mean, I want to smell it. Yeah, yeah. I want to smell that. Nah, too. let's give it a rip. Yo, so open it. You open it. Hey, if she don't smell a certain way, I don't usually even want to smell it. You open it. I want to see your reaction. <laughs> Straight up, because that's just how I move. Yo, so this is a brand called The coffee candy passed the, the smell test already. It did, right? So yeah. let's light that shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, you open it. All right. I'll smell it. Yo, okay. so, but at the same time, let us know, gang. Like, how, how, how did this journey start for Grant, my nigga? Like... Hey, just turn on like Grand Theft Auto, the video game, <laughs> and play that shit. <laughs> That's and, your shit. And, 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 you'll, and you'll get it. And, and then like listen to like you know all certain different kinds of rap music, plus <laughs> that video game, and be from LA, and then it just kind of happened. So did you just get straight into the Wii game, or what were you in before? Because I know you also were in the music game. I know you also even have credits on certain like artists. Albums like Keith, Chief Keith, and I love Keith. Shout out to Sosa. Yeah, like you, I, <laughs> shout out to Chicago. Yeah, how did, that even all, how did that even all start? Yeah, that, we got two shout outs for Chicago in our podcast. True, true. Shout out to Chicago. I fuck with Chicago too. That windy city, boy. Because yeah, Chicago people from Chicago are cool, cooler than most people. Yeah, you know, obviously I'm biased uh, from here, but they super cool, genuinely, typically. How that? How that? How that? How that skin looks like that? That lanes. Hey, I'm going to grab us that tip right there. Is that cool? I fuck with this, too. Should I get that organic tip to roll it? I can. I should. Let's smoke a little better. Yeah, I'm going to roll that shit up. Hold on. Let me be right back. Oh. What you think? What you think of that right there? 
That's crazy. <laughs> no, no, no. They don't want that. Nah, they want to be like me and not say what say what it is. <clears throat> I know they're not trying to. Nah, but it's cool. I respect that shit. I, mean, I was trying to see what it is too. I think it's just a really good ass OZK cut. It definitely has like more straight Z. It has an OZK cut like crazy. Straight Z, more like this is like more candy, but yeah, this was coming more Skittles. Let me get a paper, Ernesto. Damn, this one's banging nice. Hey, Ernesto, let you me know, know, that's like a personal preference, I guess, when it comes down to I want to make like, this shit smoke, bro. Yo, besides the paper, I've been fucking with these that's long right, let me get those. vibros. Fuck it, shoot it. If you don't know about these, bro, shout out to Burner. That's Michael too long, season. though. Fire. Now, hey, I'll never, like, hey, I'll never, nah. um, I'll never, like, my boy, he had a whole fucking leaf, right? And, um, I tripped the fuck out because he bought, like, a whole a pound, right? Yeah. And he just like he started breaking up the weed like he started breaking up the weed like all aggressively and shit. Yeah. And I'm like, what are you doing? Like, how, like how many blunts you gonna roll? Low key, should not wear the jacket because it's too hot, huh? Yeah. <laughs> He's all like, but is it bad? I don't want to take it off. Bro, it's me. already rolling, bro. Podcast is up and going, gang. You good? Right. You good? Hey, yo, how, how can we turn this light on though, too? Right now. Yeah, turn that thing on. Hey, so look. Nah, he the jacket out. looks hard, bro. Yeah, but it looks better with the jacket. Without the jacket, it probably looks like a... He go, nah, he, well, the jacket just, you know, because you mark it and you... You can't see that shit. But you can see the, you can see it in the hood. Oh, you can? Yeah. Right, cool. It's a vibe, too. And you got the space, the space pack shorts. Yeah. It's a vibe, it's a vibe. Nah, yeah, so my boy came out with a roll like this, bro. And he ended up rolling like a whole fucking 30 grams, bro. I was like, how the fuck you doing no that? No way, you guys smoked that? Bro, when he was rolling, you know how he rolled? Someone rolling like this? Yeah. Um. Well, yeah, back to what you were saying. It was like this. How'd I get all up into this shit? Yeah, bro. Well, low-key, you mentioned music. Um, I always was into certain music before everybody my age. Mm-hmm. And then people would always want mix, mixtapes, mix CDs of the shit. But this is all, you know, I'm old, you know, I might look not as old as I am. <laughs> but for mixtapes of the music that I was listening to, because I just made the best mixtapes. So um, you used to make mixtapes for niggas? But just like my, for my own personal shit, like, yeah. you and know. And niggas would fuck with your mixtape and be like, yeah. Basically yeah. yeah. like, like your own hey, playlist, but CD. CD. My own playlist, CD yeah. form, yeah. I used so. to buy CDs off niggas, bro. Yeah. I used to have a CD to burner to where I could burn CD to CD, like, off my computer before. I think we all had a homie like that. Before people had that shit, I always had, like, knew what was hot before everybody Yeah, knew. you just had the fire. That's how my homie was, bro. Oh, you know, and that's why, like, music was always something, you know. So it's kind of funny that I ended up to, you know. Doing things in you know certain spaces where you can Google that shit and like that's crazy, <laughs> you know, that's live true. out what was something that I just you did for like to do as a yeah. kid, and then it always you know young and reckless motherfuckers always got into you know social life and uh, having good times, and then when it came to a similar thing, it was always about having what people wanted because if we were going to use it we might as well have it and then if we were going to use it we might as well have the best shit and if we're going to have the best shit we might as well make fucking money off that shit instead of fucking tricking our money on it you know what I mean or at least get it for free and then it just kind of that's how I know Grant be smoking gas bro because I just I just try to say this grinder did not want to open yeah that's why I feel like the uh, metal ones might be better but I mean these are good just the homie shout out Chop Squad <laughs> DJ, he give him that shout out. Give that we, shout we, out. we were at the smoke shop in the valley somewhere, and he was buying one. He bought me one, and then I never. I used to hand break down everything. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm like, yo, I need a fucking grinder. Straight. And then up. we were at the smoke shop, and he, got he this bought one. two of them, one for me. Yo, and, this uh, coffee candy's hidden, bro. <laughs> I, I, I haven't smoked yet today, so. Oh, Me this either. Is your first smoke of the day. First hey, smoke of the day. Oh, actually, I shout out Cody, Pat guys, first smoke of the day. Yeah. You already know what time it is. Yo, they killing it. They, they killing it on that podcast. Hey, they but so this funny is, that you got this too. Yeah, I wanted to try. Your boy, Black Leaf. We never met. Well, we did meet at the one time. Yeah, not nah, just the uh, 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 Olympics. Oh, oh so Cody introduced me to him. What year? Ah, uh, this year. Fire. No, yeah, just because they got the podcast and they're going hard, you know. I, I, to we gotta see if it's smoking. Support, and I was curious. Is it, is smoke? it smoking, Black Leaf? I wanna know. The homie Marco got me into that shit, so I didn't have to wait that motherfucking line. He fucking with Tenko and Stacks and them. Shout out to all them too. Yeah, They're killing it. I used to fuck with Black Leaf when they just had the jars and ounces, bro. Now they just 
in the distro. They, they they said Ted's Buds is distributing this. That's amazing, bro. Shout yeah. out Ted Buds again, bro. His name keeps popping up in the industry. He's doing big things. Yo, I wanted to ask. My homies, uh, Sticker Cartel, they did the packaging. They be doing Ted shit. Oh, too. hell yeah. So me and T- yeah, yeah, yeah. They downtown Sticker Cartel. Safi, all them, they fucking cool. Cool as hell. Good people. Hey, yeah, give yeah, them a follow. You know, if you need your bag or you need anything that. done, hit up Sticker. What? Cartel. Yeah. Let them know what's good. Yo, so <laughs> let us know a little bit more about how you got, how you got started. In I'm, telling all my, I'm telling all my secrets. <laughs> <laughs> all, all, all the secrets. He's like, fuck. All, all, all the people he's about to give all the fucking all my, up. All my secrets. Yo, but yeah, how, how, did, how did it get to where we are right now? Again, where all the celebrities is hitting your line, trying to smoke that space packs. Everybody's always waiting for the newest drop. And low key, bro, like 2000 2008, space pass was popping, and then it, it was like nowhere to be found, and then out of nowhere again, it's out, it's popping, it's hot. 2009, like 19, 2020, before COVID. So what happened? Uh, sh- you know, life's crazy, life's crazy, you know what I mean? We plan God laughs, just all kinds of uh, curveballs, you know, life's unpredictable like COVID, and certain things <laughs> transpired. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I'm not on no Keefe D shit, so I can't even, like, you know what I mean? Speak on a lot of shit. Yeah. But I shouldn't even say shit like that. He said, I'm not on no Keefe D shit. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, it's all good, bro. <laughs> gotta say what you gotta say. Hey, free thug. Free thug. That's what I'm saying. Yo, free thug. Damn, hey, oh. but don't But don't rap about shit in your songs, you know? That's why I ain't our shit, because I don't like speaking on shit. Yeah, you can't be I like shit. listening. <laughs> that yeah, yeah. So I don't even know how these fools got me to do this shit. But yeah, yeah. Now, my people is my people, you know. So at the end of the day, like I couldn't say no. First smoke of the day, baby. <laughs> you feel That's me? My first smoke of the day. You know, how was that? Yo, you hit it already. Where right. is somebody that I feel should be on first smoke of the day? You feel me? Right. But we got him on. Is it smoking? Is because he don't even do podcasts. He really don't even be out in the internet. He don't really be out there like that. So we're hella happy that. He, on here, I ain't finna lie. When I was reviews but, stuff, but C- Cody, the homie, Pack Guys, that's my dog. He he invited me to do that shit whenever, so it's not like that. Um, but yeah, even when I started the brand, I never, you know, I never put my face out there. I always have my shit zipped up, or somebody else had it zipped up. If it wasn't me, just you know what I'm saying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's because you know. Yo, and and, and tell well, us that. a little bit why you chose to do it that way. That's game. Hey, game. Hey, huh? use your imagination. Use your imagination. Nah, Just the way the game is, bro. You gotta move the way the game moves. I Sometimes the game dirty, bro. You can't trust everyone around you, even though you know. Man, but, but, it'll be the ones you trust that get you at the and end. That's what, but that's what they say in the movies. Hey, hey, <laughs> <laughs> hey <laughs> literally how it happens. Hey, but that's why. That's, that's why. why. That's why you gotta keep your circle small and then keep the ones that are true to the game. And even so in the movies, it's the ones in your small circle. True. Hey, he ain't lying. Do your research. Good fellas. <laughs> True. That's a little racy because I don't know. <laughs> facts. Nah, big facts. Yo, it, so it be like that, though. What you think of that when that coffee can't Man, I'm high off just the, the secondhand smoke. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Like I'm about that. to hit it right now. I was about to say, nigga, you got to test it. I ain't roll this shit for nothing. Mmm. I'm rolling this shit up, bro. This organic tip going to be Yo, we're fun. having a nice, very skittleish uh, start to, to, to the podcast to, today. Usually, we'd, we, yes, uh, when was it? Yesterday, we had that other uh, podcast. We, I don't yeah. think we smoked any Skittles. Um, Today's a very skittleish day. Yeah, you're right. It. Did we or didn't we? Yo, so where do y'all feel the game is at now? You hey, think, where are you asking it? I'm asching it on top of here. Uh, we got a fake ash over there. Oh, where at? Oh, we can use this one. We can actually uh, I got my... my uh, Oh, that big round table thing? Not too big? Not, yeah. Well, you think it's right here? Well, you can move uh, it's fine, the Z bro. we were about to roll up. Mm. Nah, nah, yeah. <laughs> nah, you can actually in this red cup, though. I'm, I'm, just, I'm not tripping. Yeah. I just wanted you to really smell this, though. That's the only reason I bought it. After today, this is going in the trash. No, Kiwi should have brought some fucking hash and did a hash hole with this shit. I would like to dry hit this shit, but no, it's cool. I fuck with it. I'll let you dry hit this one. This one's gonna be good. I'm just weird. I like to dry hit shit. Uh, me too. What bro. does that mean, dry hit? Dry like hit with, basically after it's rolled. You just give it a little puff without it being lit, oh. just to give it a try and taste what it is. I, that's, you even tell me like, try. Like I'll be like, hit this shit, and that's certain. That's what be looking at me like this. Light it. Yeah, he be like, what are you doing? Like, hey, are, you, are you the one who told him to take the sticks out when he fucking? Uh, 
You know what I mean? Right, you, got all, you got all the smoking tricks. Yeah, yeah bro, you, you do, gotta take those tricks. sticks out, bro. I just be throwing I, that I shit. I feel like in middle school, I learned to take the sticks out when you, you know what I mean? When yeah, you, I, I learned at a young age, too. You know? Motherfuckers throw the whole thing. Hey, I heard it fucks up your dick, like, to where you can't, you know what I mean? You can't get hard from the stems. What the fuck? You better Google Go Google that shit. some old, these some old, uh, we smoking, Hey, Google that shit. Uh, hey, you better be careful that's, that's, though. that's not what she said though So I'll, <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean Hey but that's why You gotta take those sticks out You heard it here from Grant He even says it Yo, to The OG in the game If he wasn't taking I do sticks out the... before I bet that This and this is more than a Then that's a good That's more than a well, good, well enough good reason To start doing <laughs> that, like a, you know what I mean? You don't want that 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 pee pee gang go go bad. Yeah, you, know? you don't. Yeah, 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 exactly. Not too. You don't want it to go out too late in the game. Yeah, <laughs> damn, I didn't, I didn't know that just from smoking the sticks. Goddamn. You gotta be careful, though. Hey, it's look probably, it's probably here. here. Hey, look, look, look. That explains everything. It's probably a myth. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's probably a myth, but I swear to God, it's like a legit wives tale that I didn't make up. Hey. Damn. A lot of wives' tales are like that. They sound a little too crazy to be true, but then they're... I mean, there's a lot of wives' tales about me out there, so shit. And, you know, wives' tales are wives' tales. <laughs> <laughs> this That's is great. Cold, cold game. Hey, this one's it, though, bro. Yo, so besides <laughs> besides growing and, and developing and building building your brand, um, w- like, what else do you do? do you, are, are you hands-on when it comes to, like, actually farming and fucking cultivating and... And pheno hunting, or I mean, look, are you more on the business side of things? Oh, it's real shit. Um, when you start doing things on a bigger, le- on a big level, you gotta have people in place doing certain things so you can focus on other things, right? Like real talk. So it's like you can't, you know, being somebody who's mm, micromanaging, dry hit that, a grow on a commercial level. That's a full time job on its own. And then they even have to have teams under them. And, you know, so it's like if you're a CEO of a company or if you're running an operation on a macro level, you know, you can't, you got to know what's going on. You got to know what's going on. Um, But there's different people in place in the chain, chain chain of commands. Yeah, you got to roll. Tell us a little bit more about what it actually takes to build your brand from like nothing to some. And I know it's been a lot of years, bro. Like this shit just this didn't happen yesterday. Well, so well, tell us a little. Tell us more about back in the day when you're making those CDs. And well, like you said, like 2019, all you know, everybody was hitting. You know, it was the wave. Da 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 da. da. I built this brand solely for the legal market. Because what's the point of fucking starting a brand if you're trapping you're in the black market? What, to snitch on yourself? That don't even make sense. You know what I'm saying? So, for me, I started a brand for the legal market, but I never really did it to monetize until it was legal. So, it was like, for me, I needed the legal infrastructure to be able to monetize the brand that I created that was really... A lifestyle brand focused on cannabis that was cultivated a certain way with certain SOPs, with certain genetics, consistently at a certain quality. Mm-hmm. And you know, at one point, motherfuckers didn't have all this infrastructure, all these huge facilities, and the pounds for the indoors were fucking a thousand to thirteen hundred, and motherfuckers can't even move that shit. <laughs> really like not even that long ago really not even that long ago it's just kind of you know it's, it's crazy how life is life is so evolving there's that big word again though guys SOP we heard systems it. of operation there you go you gotta let them proud know and let them know what they're hearing cause sometimes some people don't even know what a SOP I like is. how this lame stays though I ain't gonna lie hey I was telling you and I, I hey, he said it he said it first I twisted I'm it I'm late I'm late I, I heard you like 30 minutes ago? Yeah, I was like, help over here. Hey, but I, didn't even, but, 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 but I didn't forget, as you see. I didn't even dry hit it. I was like rolling it. I was like, damn, this hey, is the one. I mean, I, you know, you have me smoking, getting high off that coffin candy. This one's kind of um, smoking good. I like it. It has a cool little, like, taste. I think that one's going to kill everything, though. Yo, it was just packaged last month, too. So That's so funny. I, I'm going to keep it a buck. Fresh before power. there was all these brands and before the legalization and all this shit, there was still, like, a cult group of people who were posting 
on Instagram <laughs> their flower. Yeah. And I was like, when the OG market crashed at the end of 2017, I got all hooked on this whole genetic shit. I didn't like just all of a sudden jump on the bandwagon and, you know, <coughs> not hating it that, you know, I respect any type of hustler. You get in where you fit in and when you do and, you know, cream always rises to the top. It's just part of evolution. But I'm just saying, <laughs> that right. when it wasn't as popular, I had a thing to where I just got hooked on like seeing different shit because what you know I I, I had to I had to adapt and evolve or I would have got left behind too essentially yeah. so you know at one point it was all OGs you know which you know like you said growing up we were some OGs Masters and and Bubba's I like I think I like the I don't know the Master they were all three good I ain't gonna lie I like what you said where you had to adapt and evolve. You feel me? Period. You, you know, and if you, you know, driving forces of change, key success factors, if you're into like business terms and economics and you strategy. Got to. So there's like my driving plan. forces of change in the industry that ultimately made it to where the industry went a certain direction. Yeah. And if you didn't do that shit, you got left behind. Straight up. You got left behind. And you if know? you didn't, you know, those driving forces of change, like you said, you get left behind, but then there's like things called key success factors, which ultimately, if you did those things, you didn't get left behind yeah. and you positioned yourself well. Because you had your role in that or you did whatever you had to do to at least be in the game. Still. Yeah, so for me it was like, okay, I fucking uh, 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 had to, because of the position I was in at the time, being ahead of certain people in certain ways, I had to adapt with the change of the genetics. Kind of like people right now with big infrastructure have to do. It's just, it's just different. Because back then you could get twelve, thirteen hundred for some sativa yeah. cut that you might have got by accident, thinking it was fucking something purple. You know what I mean? But you know, even if it was purple punch by accident, you would have still got like sixteen for your shit. Well, you know how we got hit with a <laughs> you know how we got hit with a left hook, like you're saying, 2017, 2018, The OG market died. The yeah. wave happened. Let's so I say so I have an account where I'd be the OG market crash. I got hooked on fucking. <laughs> I was always hooked on genetics because I was always looking for the best OG cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was always looking for the best OG cut because OG is what moved the fastest, the highest ticket, and was what we wanted to smoke at the same time. Yeah, exactly. Um, Yo, not to cut y'all off real quick, but how, how you guys feel about the coffee candy? It's pretty good. I'm I mean, not, I, I got to hit it. I think I'm not. Hey, put it this way. He passed it back to me. And you took it. And I'm smoking it still, so. Yeah. If it was bad. You wouldn't have smoked. You wouldn't I don't have know what would have happened, but not that. Yo, I was gonna say, yo, I'm gonna turn on, I'm gonna turn on your I gotta hit it the, like, the second time always, bro. You know, yeah. if it gets to me the second time, then I'll be like, yeah, like you just said, like I'll probably hit it if it, if I liked it. What happened, Ernesto? I'm gonna turn on the kitchen light. Oh, yeah, you can do that. Where can I do it from? Right, right? Uh, by where the mirrors at? Uh, oh. other side. Oh here. Oh. Just gonna give us more lighting. Yo. The lights going down, huh? Yeah, but it's fine. That's this, cool. This lighting guy is good now. But yeah, look, 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 back to a bunch of shit. I never wanted to be the face of the brand. I thought I wanted the brand to speak for itself. It looks That's great. the way. You know, because I didn't want the brand to be judged based on how I might talk to somebody or how I might look uh -huh. or what somebody might, this, that, and the third. You know what I mean? No, I know exactly what you mean. You said it, shit. You heard that shit. Cause Not to mention other reasons. Not just kidding. <laughs> that too. Not to mention that, that, move, that movies that we, you know what I mean? Undisclosed. Get Rich or Die Trying, you know what I'm saying? Type shit. Even that one movie, what was it? I don't know what happened in the movie, I just like the title. Get Rich or Die Trying, hey. <laughs> that's a good ass title. You know, that's out a, of all them boys. Hey, you just want to watch the movie just because of the title, you're like, fucking Hey, that shit was a good ass movie too, though. Shout out 50 Cent, that shit was yeah. fire. Hey, Yo, he, played, he played in that movie hey, too, huh? That fool handed me a bottle once at ballet. That shit was kind of cool. Shout out to 50s, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's lit. <laughs> Hey, Fifty's a fucking legend in the game, bro. Like when I, I never forget when they sold CDs. They made it seem like you were gonna get a chain if you bought the CD. Remember that G unit chain that yeah, spin? Nigga. I bought like ten CDs just to fucking. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna get that chain. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. No, I was thinking the Montreal. Yeah, that's marketing. Though. I was thinking the Montreal South Beach 2018 doing my thing for like months. I'm gonna do that, bro. I'm gonna do that with Josh. But, but he would man. always, he would always stay at the at the Montreal. Oh yeah. But he would always be at the Montreal, and I was like living there, and then you know we ran into each other at the fucking. A valet, 
And then, you know what I mean? I started hollering at him just because I went through some crazy shit. Like, he went through some crazy shit. Yeah. And I was like, yo, he been through some shit. Like, I've been through, like, uh, some motherfuckers trying to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> but, run but, up on you. Hey, but, you know, God works some mysterious ways. It wasn't my time. When they try to run up on you, <laughs> but I run up on you. Yeah, hey, you know. <laughs> so, like, I, that always is, like, some shit that not a lot of people been through, but motherfuckers been through. And then so I, you know, I, I you know, I, I wanted to just I feel like like say what's up, yeah. but then I, be, I tapped in with his drop, you know, his people at the time, and then one thing led to another, and every time they were in LA, I don't, you know, I would pull up with them at the hotel or whatever, oh, whatever or meet him at the spot and walk in with them. Let me see that. Let me see that. I gotta see that. That's big right now. What's that? That's, That's the, the black, black leaf. leaf. It's Ooh. called Black Cherry by Black Leaf. Oh Let's shit! See. Why are you taking out the thing though? I wanted to look at it. We gotta smell that shit though. I just smelled it and looked at it. I know, yo, but hey. I'm sending shit. I needed something to roll up. Hey man, I <laughs> ain't thinking about some shit, so I just was speaking on some shit. Y'all don't, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know, bro. This one to me is gonna. I'm already giving it like a. I like, can't. Hey, it needs to go in the thing and then close for a little bit, and then we gonna circle back. That's how you smell it. Yeah, because even with like even like weed, when, I, when someone trying to give me a nug out of a fucking you thing, you can't. You can't. And I'm like, nah, I need the whole unit, and I need to open that shit and smell that shit. Yeah. But you know, if it's good, if it's Good weed or a good nose at least on the weed and a, a nose that's desirable to me, for instance, and it's this size even or whatever, whatever. And I open it, I crack it, I smell it. Like it I can tell, it. you know, not that necessarily if it's good weed. Should I can I tell if like it's, uh, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> He's like, yeah, go. I don't even try that shit. No, nah, yeah, no. Nah, you ain't really, trying nah, this nah, shit. Nah, that's, that's, some, that's some experience hey, shit. Hey, hey, nah, that's, that's, that's just me. You yeah, that's, that's, that's how you get the full experience. I mean, you going somewhere. Well, honestly, I'm like, look, but look at the end of the day, if you gotta go somewhere and buy work. For somewhere to bring somewhere else, Ooh. not to say, not not crossing lines, anything like that. that. But, good. but even just from <laughs> let's just say license to license, Northern California to to Southern California, and let's just say it was 2017, even though it wasn't really going out like that. Yeah. And let's, <laughs> let's just say you you were looking for that OG. You know what I mean? Right. If you didn't know what the no, if you were looking for the loudest OG nose, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? That piney. You know what I mean? And then when motherfucking you know. Runts became that shit, you know. Yeah. Like you knew well the 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 runts, the smell. A lot of people didn't even really know, but once you taste that shit, that's what you know. if you got the real real cut. You know where if you were super tapped in at certain times, I don't know. Maybe it's super oversaturated now. I'm like kind of. I think it is oversaturated now. You maybe, know? but like the time you're saying, you're. You, I'm talking about like 2019, yeah, 2020. Nobody different. had that shit. Three thousand a motherfucking pound. Yeah, wholesale turkey bag, fast. No, people are willing to pay three thousand like yeah, that. Exactly. LB and all them, they 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 were beating everybody over the head way higher. Yeah, Jeez. LB. Or they'd be mad if motherfuckers were selling it for three K type shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, right, right, right. They were selling it for like I actually worked straight, with them. Straight the fuck up. I worked with them before. They selling their shit for like forty eight, five K in New York. Uh, but them boys like, know what they're doing. Shout out Ray. You know, for like and that shit was like twenty twenty, bro. They, they, so they, think they, about that. <laughs> Damn. You know, I check out the game. I had no idea. Hey, I was just saying this though. You know, it's funny you were saying like how you gotta you gotta see a whole unit or like the weed gotta be in a bag. I'm the type of person when I pull up somewhere and like looking at bags. Like if I see them smoking, like I just walk out. I can't I can't smell bags when you're smoking. Oh, <laughs> like that's my pet peeve, bro. Like when I like when I'm at a distro or somewhere, or even a facility wherever I'm at, looking even for at your boy's house, wherever. If we smoking, I'm like, bro, take me to another room. Like, y'all smoking around the pack, opening the pack. That shit doesn't give no justice to the pack. You feel me? Hey, Have hey. I hit that yet? Nah, right? Nah, it's Look, coming. These it's good rules. Co- these <laughs> good rules. I was making, I was making yeah. a joke just because I, now I'm fucking with the coffin candy, though. I like it. Nah, you yeah. like the coffin candy? Yeah. But I ain't gonna lie. The dry hit on this shit was super crazy. Yeah, it is. So it's where, just... like, I feel like personally... Like okay, I like the nose. I I personally, my parents, I like the nose on both, but the coffin candy gets the edge. But I ain't gonna lie, that dry hit on that lanes. Not the stupid. So when that dry hit on that lanes, I'm gonna tell you this lanes. Is I feel like got the edge like, on the dry hit. So like, give you the at the end of the day, like it's like one one versus the dry hit and the nose, even though they both had good of both. I'll tell you right Honestly, now. Honestly, opinion too, coffin candy. Hey man, box is going around for a reason. Taste, but it, it, it don't really got the high for me. What, the cotton candy? Yeah. yeah, that shit don't have the hat It has no hat. Like All right, look, I'm going to give you the little... Hey, I'm a lightweight, though, so you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel that. I, I'm a lightweight. I'm not saying I'm, like, no, out sure. there. I'm just saying I'm a lightweight in general. No, I get it. I get it. So, so uh, yeah. But we didn't even... I didn't even hit in it In general, much. I'm going to just tell you this shit. Smoking, if you smoke sushi, mm. it's kind of... That's where it's at. 
So if you know she smoked Zushi, this was kind of almost a joke. Back to what I was saying, I said I had an account where I followed all the weed people from a, a ghost account. So I got, I was always watching everybody's shit up till now, to where you mentioned this lame shit. Um, I, you know, my, I continue to follow just from a random account to just keep up with the industry. I'm sure people might copy me now, or already do it, or don't care. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, don't care at all. But um, I knew, I seen this dude's shit before, and I've been following his page and. Yeah, I wanted to try this shit because he he, he Ooh, fucking that's why it happened like that. That's this why. Is gap. See, a lot of people are doing this shit where oh look, it says I don't. I see care. what you mean with the with, with the Z shit. Huh? You see with, the, with the Z shit. It's that Z shit. Yeah. Ooh, you like it? You lean back and everything. That shit is better. <laughs> huh? I like it because I ain't even said all that. Y'all I like it just because of that taste. It reminded me of, but like I said, I mean, it's on you. You get your own review. So I'll, I'll give it like a nine right now. You're giving it a nine? Is it better than the cotton candy? It beats that shit, bro. Because you know I smoke G. I'm trying to tell you, I'm, I just I'm still hitting the cotton candy. It's, it looks like they're getting high. I'm my shit, like bro. I'll put any Skittles, even the wackest Skittles. And even though I don't degrade tree, whether how it's grown or whatever, I'll smoke it regardless. I didn't even, you know what's crazy? Sorry, go ahead. No, you good. No, go, ahead, go, ahead. go for it, bro. At the end of the day, we here. Like, hey, you have, got something in mind? Hey, say that have shit. We, have we looked at any of the flour we've been smoking? Yeah, I, I did. Uh, I did. How about, everything? how about this? I haven't. I, haven't. <laughs> I smelled it all. Yeah. And I went off the fact of where it's coming from. Mm. But like at the end of the day, like. As uh, much as bag appeal matters, and I used to give a fuck about that shit a lot. as much as anything. It doesn't really matter. It matters. It's just funny that, like, when it comes to the... It's not as important. It's not. For a smoker. A smoker yeah. wants to know how for it tastes, smoker. and am I getting high? But, like, at the end of the day, look, even me, look, even me. My skin is horrible, even but me, niggas buy it. I'm going to keep it a buck. Even me, though, I still need them. I wanted my shit to look a certain way. When I pulled up on people, because I wanted it to look a certain way. Yeah. Just like when we wear clothes, we want to pop out in That's certain true. certain kind of ways. It's fashion. So it it, it matters. It, it matters, matter. but it doesn't matter. I feel you. It matters, that. but it doesn't matter. So I guess it matters how much you your care fashion. About that. No, but it matters because I really believe. To presentation. Looks, I believe if it looks a certain way. Yeah. It's gonna. Smoke it's grown. Way. It's grown a certain way. Yeah. And even if the genetics are stupid, stupid, stupid fire and burning white ash, like, and smoking good, even on top of that, it still can be improved. Because you, you, go to, you go to certain places now, and they ain't pumping it out unless it has AAA bag of peel. Yeah. And yeah, it's easier to sell wholesale license to license, that is, you know what I mean, with certain bag of peel. Mm-hmm. But like... When it came to me smoking this weed specifically, when things have a reputation and they smell a certain way, like I'm gonna, and I'm, you know, I'll take a chance if I feel like it. Yeah. I feel that. Which is actually a big deal because a lot of people didn't used to do that shit. Damn. Off a bag of pill, right? Motherfucker, it's going no, that that's way. Like this way. Yeah. Hey, look at that. <laughs> that's those. Hey, hey, this. Hell no. <laughs> hey, that's yeah. still looking at it like, yo. Like, hey, the fuck out of it. Yo. Like, I fucked up the rotation. Hey, but he wasn't like this. Was I like, did it. You almost did. I would have had to catch a fade back in the day. Hey. <laughs> Pass that shit to the left, bitty bump. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I, you know, he I went to the left. Yeah. So I don't even. He know. went the right way. <laughs> <laughs> to the left. <laughs> he went the right, right way. Right. But yeah. I, I switched up the rotation back to the right way by accident. Yeah. Not by accident. accident. Because I by, looked at you. By, said, by, yeah, hab- by habit. Yeah. When I, I mean, more than by habit. Hey, was by about habit. Missing. Growing up, knowing habit. That's what was about missing. Yo, where you growing up at though? Where you from, man? I'm from out here. I live born and raised. Three one zero. Well, you know, <laughs> that, that's a funny question. You feel me? He was everywhere in LA. Shit, you know, I'm the same. I'm from two one three to the eight one eight. Yeah, I'm not from eight one eight though. You know, you're not from eight one eight either. You said two one three, right? Yeah. Yeah, because it's funny how people use. But say, I always, oh. I always, I represent LA always. No, bro. me too, me too, me too. But, but I, am I a say, head. Well, well, I'm not a valley here, so I, I. But that's a perfect example. Yeah. Of. What, like technically the valley is LA County even Long Beach is LA hey, County hey but let me tell you one thing about the valley like no hey I love the valley but when I tell them like nah I grew up in LA I'm like well I've known you all my life. you're from the valley dog well, that's, and, 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 LA, that's, right? that's, that's what I'm trying to say even me being from 310 West LA like you know what I'm saying 
we used to look at the valleys, but then people from the east side would be like, well, you from the west side, you ain't really from L.A. Cause yeah. da, 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 da. But then it gets to a point where like, oh, I'm in the valley, I'm in the west side, I'm in the jungles, I'm in Watts, right. Right. Yeah. I'm in Beverly Hills, I'm right. in the hills. It's everywhere. And then all of a sudden, I got to go out to fucking Palmdale. Willow Hills. Yeah. Or Palmdale. You know, or to, fuck a, to fuck a bitch or some shit. You, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he said to Willow Hills. Willow Hills. To fuck a bitch. Where the fuck <laughs> Willow Hills? Oh, I'm from the hills. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it is. I know. Yeah. I, bro, I have some people that be like, hey, bro, we're Porter Ranch. I'm like, bro, Porter Ranch. I'm right by there. It's right next to where I'm at. They're like. But where it at? I'm like, you'll find it, dog. Just go on the five to the one eighteen. It's to your right. <laughs> like, but, it's yo, in that lane. What it, I'm trying it, to say. You it's feel like me? you said, my nigga. But like, yeah. Grand Theft Auto. It's like Grand Theft Auto. You got you go fuck with Trevor if you gotta go do a <laughs> weed mission, and then you go down to the fuck it. You know what I mean? Long story short, I'm it's not it. one of those people who I ask where they're from, and they say from LA, and it's like, yeah. oh yeah, born and raised, and they be like, nah. Um, <laughs> uh, I've been here for ten years though. I came out here for college or. Yeah. I moved out here for this thing. Nah, I'm from your born and yeah. What high school hey. you go to? I went to a few. I went to a few. Uh, I went to a few. Where should you graduate from? <laughs> I, went, I graduated from a small continuation school in, Co- in Culver City. All right. Okay. You know what I mean? Uh, but, but. What high school were you, was you at, though? <laughs> At least, <laughs> yeah. where was you at? Hey, hey, like, uh, at least your most memorable one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I went to two high schools. I went to Van Nuys High School. I played football there. I had my high school career there, but I graduated from Canyon High School. Well, All right, you're gonna you, 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 you really put me on blast. We want to know, man. <coughs> hey, so, said Santa Monica. Not far. Santa Monica. <laughs> I didn't go to Santa Monica. <laughs> I went to private school, though. Like, uh, what's that fool in Ama? Clarence, oh, yeah. hey, hey, shout out to Cranbrook because I actually got in trouble in LA. I got in trouble out here for like doing shit. So I went to Crossroads in Santa Monica. Shout out Baron Davis, shout out to everybody else. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's what's up. Uh, you know, um, from 7th to 10th grade, I went to Crossroads, got in trouble out here. Then I got in trouble out here, but I was really good at sports. I, you know, I, uh, I played varsity soccer, you know, at Crossroads my freshman, sophomore year, but I was also good at hockey too. And I just couldn't pick between one and whatever, whatever, whatever. Nigga, you was playing hockey out here yeah, in that so Yeah, but I was... Nigga, that like, don't play hockey, That's nigga. What I, was I was really thinking. good at soccer. I was really good at hockey. I used to play in Culver City. They had a hockey team at your high school? At the... the what the, the fuck? The Marina, Marina City shit. Hey, they had a hockey team in your they high got, school, though? Nah, they don't know. So I got in trouble out here. I got in trouble out here. Got into it with some people at the rival schools doing some dumbass shit. And... Uh, Got into there to play hockey and like did it to get away from here because the trouble I got in, right? Mm. So ultimately, I went to the same fucking school which was really good at hockey, but it was before that movie came out, Eight Mile, and they talk about that school, <laughs> Eight Mile. You went to, you know what I mean? Which I ended up getting kicked out of there too. Yeah. <laughs> My, yeah, yeah. yeah. So and, and the funny thing is, I used to get zips of weed. Mail to the principal office is there. Not this look. Wait, what? Yeah, but this is the high school <laughs> in like before before anything. <laughs> like <laughs> where I would get this for me for me to smoke, bro. You know what I mean? How'd you do that? Oh, that yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I didn't hear this. This shit crazy. You see you got zips sent to the principal's office? Yeah, I had to pick up a box at the principal's office. A box? He said, why? Yeah, like every like, <coughs> you know, certain amount of time. <coughs> That's and funny. Yeah, I was <laughs> like, did not know about good weed out there. Damn. Or have it. That's crazy. So you had the whole fucking zip, and he was showing the school. He was like lecturing. But I played. And I, and I, was playing on, I was on the varsity hockey team yeah. at that school. So yeah. I'm on the varsity hockey team at this school in Michigan. With some fire. You know what I mean? With some fire. Yeah, with some fire. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know, to this day, they like they they talking about it. Hey, yeah. Yeah. That? yeah. So you got recruited, uh, and you was in LA playing, and then you got recorded to recruited to Michigan. Now you get a weed delivered from LA. But to remember, uh, even back when we first talked, I told you about some lick I hit. Right. Some this and of that, yeah. and that was even before I went to the fucking boarding school. Yeah. yeah. So it was like I was, you know what I mean? For whatever reason, <laughs> how, how was the homie Nick Lush? Shout out that fool again. You how, know, how, how, how was it? How was it growing got, up? Got me smoking weed in seventh or eighth grade. How was it growing <laughs> up? Or crazy. At least, yeah. how, how was it growing up or going to a boarding school? How was all that? Like I don't know how that. It worked. was cool for certain reasons, but it was lame for other reasons. You know like, do you guys stay in the school all day? But on the weekends, like, you know, there was like a boarding slash uh, slash uh, day shit. Yeah. So there was people in the neighborhood who went. For whatever, yeah, and you could stay. You could stay on the weekends, you know. Uh, so I found kids that I fuck with that like was moving. 
in, in similar kinds of things and ways. You know, you get yeah. where you fit in. And, which I like, which I like. But know? long story short, yeah, from LA, born and raised, I went to Crossroads from 7th to 10th grade. Then I went to this boarding school called Cranbrooks, go watch 8 Mile. And then uh, <laughs> ultimately I got kicked out of that bitch. They wouldn't let me back into Crossroads, even though they acted like, well, they acted like if I did certain things, they were going to let me back. And then I kind of tried, but then they ended up not. So, and I wanted to go back there to play varsity soccer my, my senior year, to be honest, because I played my freshman and my sophomore year. But they were on some bullshit and said I was too uh, rowdy. Nah, they said I was like, I feel like they used the word arrogant they, my, or something weird like that. Damn, you remember vividly like that? It'd I be know. Like that. No, it'd be I, moments I, I, like I was that. traumatized. No, I'm just kidding. Nah, there'd be moments <laughs> like that, bro. I remember certain shit niggas told me that to this day, I'd be like, <laughs> fuck you. But either way, it was like, fuck it. <laughs> I, I got in trouble out there. I didn't really want to be there. I mean, I don't know. It was cool, but. It was a cool experience, but I think... <coughs> Fuck, I'm fake. I don't even... Yeah. <laughs> I'm lit, bro. Nigga, I'm, I'm hot, but I'm not faded. But I'm not a lie. I'm just... not going to lie. The lames? It got us lame. No, no, that's what I'm saying. That shit got me down the Z hat. I'm just still tripping. Lame. I'm still just tripping. Just like... Lames might take it today hey. if black lips doesn't come through. Hey, hey I'm not a lie, though. I'm just tripping. So, like, bro... He got a whole zip set to the principal's office. I'm over here thinking I was slick in high school, dog. I'm over here having a whole shit. Saying, I'm in mission. I got to get the L.A. pack. Yo, but it just shows you when you have a pack. And then, hey, bro, you really put the L.A. in land, boy. Like, you land is actually like, this shit coming. Hey, man. Hey, niggas must have been tripping, bro. Yeah, dude, we would smoke. Fine, we, we would, like, we, me and one, like, someone else on the hockey team, I forget, a couple different people, like, different times. We would be in our dorms and we would smoke, like, make sure, like, nobody, like, you know, nobody, like, whatever staff they had at certain times was gone. Everybody was asleep. And we go into one of our rooms. We, you know, towel the door, all that. All that, all that good shit. Make sure we lit it a certain way where the smoke went out the window that yeah. nobody was watching. And we played video games. <laughs> I would try to ghost that shit. We, and we played video games like Grand Theft Auto. And, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> what video game was y'all playing back then? Back then? Hey, there was a... There was a NHL. Sm- not... Y'all yeah, was on the 64? Uh, I forget what system it was, but there was this game called NFL uh, NFL Hits. Blitz. NFL Blitz. Blitz. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You could, like, suck a nigga. You, know, so you, were, that, you that, was on the 64. That's the 64. Hey, how I know, nigga? That's the 64. Hey, real gamers can really know, nigga. Bro, like, Hits that I said was that period Blitz. of my life. Blitz. 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 Hey, Blitz. That's why but then there was NHL Hits. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. I knew that. I wasn't playing Hits during that time. I don't remember. There was a different time in my life I really liked his. You know but what? Back you, to Blitz, that's what we were playing. Like, you know what? Yeah. It's funny you even bring up Blitz because when people be like, yeah, I'm fed up. Like, you should not be saying, I'm Blitz because oh. of that game, bro. Hey. That game was sick, that dog. Game was epic. Blitz. I feel like people actually do use that shit, like, in, like, the Louisiana Blitz? area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I know yeah. some people were going to nah. call some shit Blitz before. My boy Shout was, out to them. Nah, this my lady. boy put RAP <laughs> to my boy Kivion. He just passed hey, no, away. Man, he used to always say, I'm Blitz, nigga, and I think shit. That's where he got it from. Rest in peace. Yeah, that was my boy right there. That's why I'm always keep that with me. I'm Blitz, dog. So yeah. that shit's funny, bro. So this so Blitz, not Blitz, 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 Blitz. Blitz, yeah, Blitz, bro. What you about? I'm like that. At, at the private at the private school in Michigan, cause they got in trouble out in L. A. Just to get in trouble over there. Yeah. Just to end back up in L. A. At some continuation school in uh, Culver City. But don't get it out. twisted, motherfuckers were flying getting money. Yep. You okay. feel me? Right, okay. You know, I always had the music shit still. Everybody was fucking with the music shit still. I always had that shit. I always knew. Motherfuckers always were good at sports. Motherfuckers were uh, good with the, the party favors. All right. You know what I'm saying? And then what happened after that? Once you got <laughs> back, once you got kicked out of... Oh, oh yeah, so I, I, went to, I went to some smoke continuation school, and then I ended up getting into a college early for uh, in Boston for soccer but, oh, but it was shit. a business school actually mm-hmm. so it was like okay this dude who's on some that's what's up on some Get Rich and I Try and meets fucking uh, Grand Theft Auto LA shit on some fucking 8 mile shit <laughs> right <laughs> yeah. I still trip out he went to a, uh, what was it school Clay, Clarence he went to he went to K-Brooks so you went to the school called K-Brooks? No, it's called Cranbrook. Cranbrook? Go watch 8 Mile. And then yes. Eminem clowns on, yeah. The, on the black Yeah, Terrence, yeah. Clarence, Clarence with a yeah. C. Yeah. Yeah. The guy he's rapping on. Yeah. What's his name in the... Is... Clarence, nigga. No, no, that's his real... No, that's his real... Like, Clarence name. got parents. Yeah. 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 He, they, he clowns up. It's like, <laughs> fuck, what's his rap His rap battle name? Oh, I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> 8 Mile yeah, movie is lit, though, nigga bro. Nigga was throwing up in the bathroom all that day. Hey, but God, how the fuck do we not know... I don't know. I guess yeah, it wasn't I, that important. It was pop. But it was... Pop? Papa pop, Chop? Pop. 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 Not pop, Papa Papa Chop. Chop's a hit, but that's my dog, too. Papa Doc. Papa Doc. Yeah. Papa Doc. Yeah. Yeah. So Papa Chop. Hey, 
way. Man. There's no way I'm not letting that shit slide by. Trust me. Because motherfuckers going to be on the show and be like, how the fuck did they not know that fool's last name battle, bro? It's Papa Don. Like, <laughs> hey, like, hey, you helped me remember because I would have never. You called it, but I was like, Papa. Nah, no, and then you dropped my name. But then you dropped my name. I was going to call that nigga Clarence. But then you <laughs> Hey, he was cool with the Clarence. You're like, I'm hey, you're like, nah, it's not even his name. He's like Clarence. Nah, Eminem Clown don't yeah, say he's like, hey, bro. Clarence, I will. We haven't hit that Clarence pack yet because you <laughs> that know, pack. because bo- both things I'm fucking with, you know. Clarence packs like that nerd pack that don't get you high. Yeah. So I'm not gonna say any of these are that Clarence pack. That's not nah, the coffee candy was a Clarence. pack. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It was. Hey. It was. Hey, that Clarence it's pack. Definitely like. No, no, the, the the fucking lens is not. Okay, okay, but this is how we're gonna know because now that we're high, like for me, we creeps in general. Right. Yeah, this is from who planta? Yeah, so we we creeps in general. So I don't know if it's even fair to even to it. judge hitting the planta and no, then no, hitting the fucking. Fair. We hit that shit first. Like, you hit it. Why do you call it planta? That one is cut or is it cut planta? Nah, 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 I'm, planta. Nah, nah, I'm a gringo. Not smoking. Gringo. Oh, you got, hey, I know you Yo, say gringo. That's no, I was. Hey, say planta. Planta. I can't. I'm a gringo. Come on, say it one time. You got an idiot. Planta. Yeah, there you go. Planta. Hey. That's how you say plant in Spanish. Yeah, planta. Plant. No, plant. no, no, I blow Espanol. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, let me tell you this. You speak planta, though. <laughs> I know you speak, you plant. speak planta. That's that planta. Yeah. So, did we switch the rotation to the regular? Or? No, we still going this way. That's how good this shit is. I just the wanted ladies. to. I was testing you. I'm smoking. The lanes is good. What's up with some of that black cherry? This is a. I want to try this black cherry from. Uh, shit, we was we was on the lanes, but hold up. I want to know the stories. How you give? How 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 we go? Yeah, my- Smoking! Yeah, it really smoking. We got here the CEO from Space Packs. Thanks for having us. Thanks for the hospitality. Always. This is Grant. Nesto. How you what feeling? Up, what up, what up? Hell yeah, how you feeling? How you doing? What are we smoking today, guys? Shit, besides besides having uh the CEO of Space Packs in the building, Grant, uh, we're gonna be smoking on lanes. Let's pass that around. Check so that we, got, out. we got the Lane brand. We're going to be fucking with the coffin candy. For some reason, Grant told me to pick up the coffin candy. He was fucking with that. Coffin candy by who? And then we're going to be fucking with that Black Leaf. That Lane. And oh, I need to try Black that. Cherry by Black Leaf. This is that Lane's, bro. This is that Lane's with that Z cut. This is a Z cut for sure. Hell yeah. And then. Doesn't say the strain, though. How you feeling, Grant? What's going on, brother? Shit, you know, another day. I'm good. Let me I'm see blessed. that one. Let me see doing? that one. We're doing Let me good, see bro. That. We was, we was just running around uh, trying to find these uh, flavors you told us to pick up. <laughs> Should we open this one up real quick? Which one we open? Are you trying this one first? Let's open that one. Yeah, I want to see this shit. I can't so, be looking at bags, bro. I got to be looking at tree. Yo, Grant, so how you feeling right now, gang? I know I know. Uh, Space Packs is about to be going and being in a bunch of di- legal stores, bro. Woo! You're, it's, it's, it feels like you're at that, fi- at that, fi- at that final, at that final uh, mark point, you know? That's that gas right there. It's not good. I gotta see how it smokes though. Sorry, I'm just trying to smoke weed. Uh, it's good. It smells good. I like it. We're gonna see how it smokes though. What's yeah. that one called? It's the coffee candy. It smells good. How you feeling about it's it? It's funny. I... <laughs> this bag is so funny, dog. <laughs> like, what were you gonna say? <laughs> I smelled another batch of it. I like this batch more. This one? Yeah? Yeah. Where did you smell that? It's batch? different, huh? I saw it was like yeah, little. Like... I was at a. Uh... Trans Bay, Trans Bay qualifier. They had a booth, but I ain't gonna lie, it wasn't sealed. So maybe because it was uh, oxidized. Nah, they had it like in a bowl, and it was like out for a while. So maybe like motherfucker just opening it, finger fucking. So that's why I wanted to actually have the real experience. Don't you hate when fools and not judge it based on that? Don't what you think? Hey, don't you I hate when? How it smells. Hey, don't you hate when people finger fuck the like when they looking at a package? Shit, like. Like, yeah. damn, bro. It's like they don't know how to really, uh... I look at the pack like with appreciate the... Appreciate it. I'm, like, looking at them, just smelling like motherfuckers like this. I'm like, damn. <laughs> nah, <laughs> you yeah. grinding your weed and shit. Not even just when they look at a pack. Also, when you're, like, at a, at the farm and shit, people, are, they are oh, trying to squeeze the nugs at the top. It's like, come on, bro. Squeeze the ones at the bottom. And earlier you told me, yo, the ones at the bottom sometimes even hold a little more THC. I don't know about THC, but for some reason, like... Maybe. It just smells a little better. Yeah. Yo, and that's why even today, 
I had to bring you the Skittles that were growing. What's your honest review on it? Just from touching it and smelling it. It's not done. It's on day 39. And um, we're going to go 55 days of, of flour. But uh, I wanted to just bring it by and see what Grant thought of the smell. No, you can you can see the so Bob see in there, the skill right? nose coming out even only in day thirty five, which is a good sign. I'm already knowing how this shit smells. Hell yeah, but yo, today it's just should, different. I wish we could smoke it. Just roll this shit around. Man, nah. you know it's a process. But once it once it's ready, once it gets laid hey. down, I'll make sure you just do put, one of the first. Just take the leaders off, put it in the grinder. <laughs> yeah, no, you, and that shit won't smoke. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, back in the day, you think so? nah. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, back in the day, you, when I was a kid, you find something, we like, shit, get away with it and do what you said. I'm like, shit, we blitz. Man, <laughs> there was a time in high school, <laughs> me and my friend, we, we there was a backyard in like Venice that had like a little outdoor grow, and I was in, shit, what grade was I in? I was in like ninth or tenth grade. <laughs> <laughs> we somehow there was a dog and late at night we pull up in my whip my homie hops the fence he starts tossing these like six feet plants over no way <laughs> and we, we tarped them all and put them in the fucking backseat of my like oh yeah I hit the lick then we thought we hit the lick <laughs> <laughs> yeah I hit the lick we thought we hit the lick <laughs> why so what we ended up with some, some weed like that <laughs> oh I thought they got you and you're like nah we hit the lick on ourselves she wasn't even fully grown yet <laughs> I mean it was, that's we, we, got, we made a little bit of something, something, but not like we thought when we did it in ninth, tenth grade when we thought it was the lit. He said he Yo, started so throwing branches talk, Talking about the past, bro, uh, when was the first time you, you smoked? What was that experience like? I was in either seventh or eighth grade, I forget. It's all telling me, bro. I'm always going to be saying shout, this. Shout out to Lush One. <laughs> <laughs> to Lush What? Yeah, Lush One, my boy from, you know, your kids. Oh, he, he's the first person you smoked with? Yeah, he got me high. <laughs> he got me high at his parents' crib. For real? What, what well, was that experience like? I just remember we had the munchies, got high as fuck, eating cereal. And I remember walking back to my crib, but I don't remember much else other than that. <laughs> no. like, hey, you just remember he was lit. What was you smoking on? Do you remember what you guys smoked on by any chance? <laughs> that lemon tree gelato. Nah. <laughs> I thought I was like, hell, what the hell? Yeah. 20 years ago? <laughs> yeah, something like that. You feel me? Oh, that's like, hilarious. Like, I don't know. It was just some... Some well, bubble price of OG. It was, yeah, I don't even think it was OG at the time. But back in the day, definitely, we were the only ones smoking OG, Master and Bubba, when everybody else in the country was smoking them BCs and... Whatever they call chronic, you yep, know what I mean? Exactly. I don't know. I feel like if you were from LA, you were always the ones with the best weed, first and foremost. And everybody wanted to copy us. Yep. Right, right, right. And I still don't feel like that changed, regardless of what everybody else want to make it seem like. Mm-hmm. No, 100%. You know I mean? 100%. Hey, you hear that? Yo, <laughs> I got LA already. And, 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 and why do you think it's that? Because uh, maybe LA was first to the market, first to attack? Well, first? LA, and you got you to gotta always say the Bay, too, bro. You can't nah, just... the, 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 bay, the Bay, you know, switched it up, with, you know, with the Za. They went to the Za, but I'm saying before that, like, motherfuckers would go over there and bring 100 bricks from Hunger or some bullshit. Yeah, but we had the OGs and the, oh, the OG for and the sure. Masters, yeah. and that was running the game. Oh, that's us right here. That was running the game yeah. when I was up. Yeah, that was us right there. Like the OG, all that fucking potent. Could but it was have, always, you know? Yeah, yeah. The Bay always had like depths, bro. They had like I don't know outdoor packs. Right, but man, they put them, you know. And then they fucking they started came, getting that fire. In. They, you know, they came with the Mendo breath, the thin mint cookies, the Girl Scout cookies, the Mendocino, shit. right? I remember that you Mendo know, breath, that, pur- bro. that purple weed, that yep. purple weed, that Granddaddy purple. That had that Mendo breath, and they had Mendo bubble, bro. I remember my boy would come and bring some shit from Mendocino, bro. And it would be is that that's up up north because north? fast forward even up until t- end of 2017, what you know OGs were running the market really you yeah know? yeah but then there was that cer- certain purple weed with certain strains that certain taste and all that bullshit. that still held that same numbers as the OGs yo but hold up you you getting ahead of me bro uh, so you first start smoking weed with your boy around eighth ninth grade and then. It was how, like seventh, how seventh fast- or eighth grade. It was middle school for sure. I just all right. It was middle school for sure. I so how how do we fast forward to now where you're at today, bro? And I don't even know. It's crazy. Like he said, I don't know. even know. I like bro, <laughs> on some real shit. Like, my, my life's not real. I swear, bro. On some real shit. A lot of people are talking about that Astrotech, bro. Like 
we had that runts wave, and it seemed like everybody had fun with the runts, then the candy, the Skittles, and for some reason that Astro Tech just keeps coming up, bro. I, I ain't finna lie, I had that cut. I had the cut before everybody played it out. And Shout out to the homies, they know I had it too. <laughs> <laughs> yo, so they were mad mean? low key, but shit. What you, you know? mean you had that cut? Hey, yo, and um, uh, we have that coffee candy. Oh, uh, shit. Like that coffee candy. Let's get it right. Who got a light? Light it up. Which one else should I roll up right after you? Uh, roll, roll, roll the, the lames. The hey, you, already, you already open that shit? No. Should uh, we open it? I mean, I want to smell it. Yeah, yeah. I want to smell that Nah, too. let's give it a roll. Yo, so open it. You open hey, it. Hey, if shit don't smell a certain way, I don't usually even want to smell you it. You open it. I want to see your reaction. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, because that's just how I move. Yo, so this is a brand called The coffee game. candy passed the, the smell test already. It did, right? So yeah. let's light that shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, you open it. All right. I'll smell it. Okay. Yo, but at the same time, let us know, gang. Like, how, how, how did this journey start for Grant, my nigga? Like, hey, just turn on, like, Grant Theft Auto, the video game, <laughs> and play that shit. <laughs> That's and, your shit. And, 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 you'll, and you'll get it. <laughs> and, and then, like, listen to, like, you know, all certain different kinds of rap music, plus <laughs> that video game. And be from LA, and then it just kind of happened. So did you just get straight into the Wii game, or what were you in? The Wii <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you're no, moving no. up a certain way, so you, you don't want to say too much either. But you, you can't really yeah. speak on things. So it's like now all of a sudden I'm, I'm getting recorded by the feds. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, but I always feel like the feds. Are yeah, hey, hey what's that movie? Uh, but check it out, but check it out. But Vlad, they always say Vlad's a fed. And, and you know what the problem is? I think a lot of these artists, so. no disrespect to none of them, I don't know what, who it is or how, to where I don't even know who it was, but I've just heard, why, I don't know why they call Vlad a fed. I just know he'd be interviewing and asking a lot of questions, yeah. so he's a fed in that nature, but I feel like there's certain people that actually answer questions that they weren't supposed to at times, mm. that ultimately, like, got him. did got some him. dumbass shit. I don't even know if that's true or something I heard, but I know it's something along those lines. Yeah, right. Right. So I was making a joke about y'all being the feds, but at the end of the day, like, <laughs> yeah, you are done. I'd be so lit to be a fed, though. Hey, that shit got me pregnant. No, I'm just kidding. I, <laughs> Hey, this, <laughs> hey, 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 is that PCP in that shit? Yeah, you got him tripping. Hey, that lame got some, got some shit in there. That's, that, hey, that's <laughs> the shit they gave me at the fence. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, look, hey, you want to hit this? You want to hit this? <laughs> you know what I <laughs> mean? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's funny, eh? I'm literally guarding. I'm just trying to really get you. I, I, I need you to. I need hey, you gonna roll this up? No, nah, nigga. Uh, he really wants this shit to really be rolled up. Smell it, Either that or he got. He, 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 he got that. that shit. He got that. Sorry, Kevin. I actually low key smell like a faint of that in how. how the lame shit, right? <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I thought it, but I didn't want to just say that shit. But now that you said that, nigga. That's verified, bro. <laughs> that's verified. Maybe that's, I made, it. that's why I even bought it at the store. I was like, mm, this smells like what we're growing. It made me want to get it. And I'm glad it's the best thing smoking. Shout out to motherfucking Lady. Lady. I've been high though. Uh, the, plant, the plant I wanted to really try their uh, Cleopatra because when I was at that trans bay shit. Oh, that's a hard ass idea right now, what I just said. Oh, what? Shit, I can't say it, dog. You're gonna have to watch the podcast uh, now. Shit. I hope I need, don't catch me because I just came over that idea. I'm gonna tell her that stuff about that. This shit was crazy, bro. Because everybody, look, if they catch on to it, everybody's doing this shit, right? right. With this Z string, they like putting the Z somewhere in it to like disguise the Z. Hey, okay, so I found okay, one. So I, I, I need yeah. to know things. What's your I, need, I need to know things. Call that, that, that don't. <laughs> that's fine. I need to know things that go into my judgment. I, I need to nah, know, no, no, no. I, I need to know things that go into my judgment. Can we mute this shit real no, quick? No, no, no. <laughs> no. You said you want to know things that go into your judgment? Of making a decision on the flower. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now I'm still talking about that brand oh, shit for oh, me. you already smelled it? Well, yeah, but I now I'm speaking on me smelling it. All right, let's it. go, oh, let's yeah. go. So, like, are the prices all three of <laughs> these the same? Yeah. yeah. All, all three of them are 50 bucks. Well, what would you okay. rather pay for it at this point? Okay, well, that's why I smelled it. Look, so for me, when I, if I was going to buy it, the first thing I'm going to notice is the nose. Fast. So if I was allowed to smell these, which I don't even know if you're allowed to smell they, them. They, they did let us smell some because they had them in samples. And then on top of it, have those samples even fresh? Are those that samples, part. is yeah. the sample of that coffee, you, you know what I mean? These are just all 
trials and tribulations of a customer at a fucking store. I'm going to just tell you this. Where I don't need to shop at stores. Not yeah. because I wouldn't, but I just don't. Uh, that's what I'm going to tell you. Know? I mean, I'm going to tell you But, but I, the learning curve has always been that no, way. No, no, no. We, you know, I was medical when there was only three shops in L.A.? Yeah. Yeah. It, it was the Yellow House on, like, was it, like, on La Brea? Then there was a, a UMCC, and then there was the one on Sunset. The homeboy who ended up getting locked up for a long period of time who was running the game at one point. Um, the funny part about what you just said, if I, right. I don't shop at shops either, or like stores, whatever, but if I did go into one, I'm fucking asking what's the freshest shit. Yeah, I, yeah. You feel me? Honestly, what about you? <laughs> nigga, I, I, I fuck with the plugs, bro. We the plug. I don't go to the fucking dispensary. Yeah. I don't okay, so do you, so, so, fresh so I ain't gonna lie, yeah, I, really I don't wanna, stuff. I don't wanna, t- I mean... Be the bearer of bad news. Well, yeah, we gotta try that. Black you, juice. Yeah, we gonna start. We smoking it, but I've strict. I don't. And then on top of it, there's the nose versus a jar versus the nose nose out of a bag. Yeah. So mm, for me, for right, me, me the the, the, the coffin candy and, and the coffin candy and the lames were. Mm, Mm, you know, I think Coffin Candy had the best nose. I think Lames was not far behind. It just depends if you like the nose. I think they both had really good noses, but they had different fragrances. I'll tell you this: the Coffin the, Candy the co- is good, but it's just I don't think it smokes as good as the yeah. So the co- okay, so the Coffin Candy and the Lames had comparable noses with diff- but different kinds of noses. So it was a personal preference. I just like candy, loud candy noses personally. It's right. crazy because everybody's getting undisclosed with their strains. They're just calling it the strain and not giving you what it a, is. And I always was on that shit. Not even because you gotta yeah. be, like being secretive about it is one thing, but it's also like, it just confuses the customer. But then there's the educated customer who wants yeah. to like, no. Yeah, exactly. And then the there's, the, there's the hobbyist, there's the addict, there's the just the, yeah. you know what I mean? Like I, I always I, wanted to know. But then again, then everybody exactly. wants to copy everybody. And everybody wants to do this and do that and do some this and do yeah. that and da 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 da. So that's where the game's going. The game's just the game. Yeah, <laughs> it is what it is. Just like a reality TV, that shit. Nobody was so yeah. I ended up fucking with uh, through all my music shit. I ended up fucking with some people and doing some shit and you know with some with some people. And actually, I was fucking with Lamar on some TV show shit before he met Chloe. And then and then I was lo- I got locked up on some shit. Let's keep it a buck, you know what I mean? Because okay. I can speak on certain things, you know, at certain times. But yeah, so I got that fool into, dude, he was doing some music shit. He had an arty, artist named Ali Vegas. Shout out Jamie Sangutai. That was Lamar's best friend who was on that show. Da 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 da. Rest in peace to him. He came and, you know, I brought up that 50 Cent shit. He came and visited me in the hospital when that shit happened to me on some like homie shit. And he was actually preaching to me about some, oh, you know, just. The path I'm supposed to be on, which yeah. I respected, and it's so, and, and I always, you know, fuck with him super tough. And then I, oh, so he basically had a label, Rich Soil Entertainment, and I was, you know, I was doing, you know, I was managing an artist who was super popping, top floor Interscope Records on reality shows, da 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 da. Everybody wanted to fuck with them, um, but when you're young, and you can't control other people. I think I, you know, and then as as business savvy as you are, as much as your vision is. You there's people you can't control and situations to where things you see it linear and it can be that but then there's all these variables That's with exactly. people which are personalities who aren't thinking what you're thinking for whatever reason right which is kind of crazy because they got different motives they, they they might not be in the situation for the same. You, oh, know so, you. you know what's so you know so stupid they're just there to help you get there they're not like, even they're there they they're there to use you for themselves. But not realizing that if you guys did it together, you actually would get there. Right. And if you guys choose not to work together, it's going to blow that shit up and fuck it up for themselves and everybody else. And depending on who you are, you're going to elevate and they're going to feel stupid. Or who knows? What are you twisting over there, gang? <laughs> I'm, I'm just twisting some co- coffin candy in the, in the meantime till we, till we get that going. But I'm not going to lie to like, we smoke that last one. Honestly, bro, this just still has some Skittle. Can you, like, dump it on That's it? another thing about that thing. Yeah. I've used it so much at this point. It sticks. Yeah, so... I, oh, I, guys, here, use this one. Why are you using this? You got to use the big boy patty cake. Okay. Use the big grinder. I get hey. it. This is cute. You guys have, like, memorable moments with it. But look. Look how hard this is to use. How am I going to put all this weed in there, though? Yeah. It falls exactly right in there? Yeah. Or what? Cause that's why I, I use it because of the, the the accuracy of the grinder. Because if I grind this shit, 
that's what I'm trying to say. Like, how do I get it on the table? No, 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 no. This is how you going to get it. Look, I'm going to teach y'all how to roll. Right here, gang. Roll look. right here. Boom. No, 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 gang. Okay. I'm trying to tell you. Look, gang. Okay. Oh, he's dropping it. He is dropping it in there. Told you. I used to roll this shit, man. <laughs> Yo, so this, what, this is the last one? What, what fucking flavor is this? Oh. This, is the, this is the black leaf. Black Where's leaf. the bag? Oh, yeah. Yeah, black leaf. Where's the bag? It's right there. Oh, I'm just gonna cut. Hold up, right here. I can't grab it. I'm trying to roll it. There it is. Give it black a cherry. I don't, I'm not a live dog. I'm not a fan of black cherry at all. You're not a fan of black cherry? At all. What other brands have you smoked that have black cherry? Black I feel like this was in a like jar, I'm or it was maintained a certain way. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Where's the... I want to see something. This is when, when the nose ain't... Okay, so when the nose ain't hitting, yeah. but I feel like it faint, that's when, that's when I kind of want to look at it. Even though I should have just peeped all of them for, you know? Yeah, that's a good bag up here. Yeah, it's cool. It's, it's, got, it's got some trichomes and shit. And, it looks good. Yeah, you know, it don't look bad. That's for sure. Don't look bad. But then again, a lot of weed can look good. I mean, they got fucking light devs looking like fucking AAA indoors <laughs> for I don't even know how many years now. That's crazy. It's crazy, you know bro. I mean? Yo, He's, for a long time, people was getting rich off them devs, bro. A lot, a lot I mean, of people, people, was, people, people probably still are, but there's a long time where, <laughs> you, 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 you know, he a, said a 200 like, a, 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 no, not me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. I'm um, like, a two, yeah, a two, <laughs> two, if you got 200 lights, you were the man. Now, like, a two, you know, 200 lights really ain't shit. <laughs> that ain't shit. And especially if it's not legal, it doesn't even mean anything. Right. Because it, well, the only way it would even, I don't, I'm, I'm going to guess. The only way it would mean something is if you were growing a certain strain, a certain way, and you had a certain client that always buys, and it's gonna pay that amount for that number no matter what. But no, now, no the, you know, license to license, you can go to these facilities and legally buy pounds of, and a lot of things that look good for between the thousand and twelve hundred. That fucking has a cool nose that's gonna work where you know wherever you're selling it, you know, legally. Um, and that's cool for them. They don't care, but. It's crazy, you know, before it mattered so much because there were certain strains that were 1,200 a pound and certain strains that were 3,000 a pound like we talked about. Yeah. You could, you could pollinate a room and get your shit off for 1,200 a pound, even if it was superseded yeah. at, back, back in like 2000, let's just say 19 even. Damn. You know? Let's just say you had a 200 lighter in 2019, hypothetically, and you pollinated a room just because you were on some shit. <laughs> you wouldn't even lose money that month. Like I would, you know what I mean? That's crazy. That shit was so good. Good. The market it was higher. Yeah, but the people who were doing it probably just thought that's what it was. <laughs> which, in hindsight, it was good, like you're saying. I would yeah, guess. Because yeah, yeah. you have higher genetics still. Yeah, but even if you had shit genetics, you were still for sativas getting probably like 12, 13, 1400. And then how about for the OGs? That's what I'm saying. Depends what in 2000. Well, even still, there was even if when OGs were down to 1600. That's still better than fucking twelve hundred for LCG. That yeah. at one point for a period of time was fucking just conservatively just say two thousand a pound, but obviously twenty five hundred plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, really probably twenty eight plus. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And that's like I said, people like you know them them jokes up dudes. They weren't letting it off for that long. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> they still don't. I'm just saying, so, so if, but now, I'm letting you, well, I guess technically, if you got the right cut and you got the right client, like he said, then it's worth it, it's worth it, but if you're just having to dump your shit to dump your shit to keep up with the operation, That's different. it's worth it if it's legal. Yeah. Because, if, you know, it's like, oh, if my, legal, my costs are fucking, let's just say on the high end, 800 a pound. Let's just say my costs are 800 a pound. And I have to sell everything for twelve hundred a pound. You know what I mean? I, I, I that's still four hundred a pound times the amount of motherfucking pounds you're harvesting. You don't gotta worry about getting shut down or anything. Yeah, so yeah. then it comes down to how much volume you can really move at that price to keep up with your operation for it to be worthwhile. But you don't at least have the stress of fucking getting shut down. 
type shit. Right, and you know you could go to work every day. And then you can still build something on top of what you're doing. So you can find these genetics and you can then create this thing and have this menu and then have this fucking brand. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's right. smart. No, 100%. You should delete that shit. I just put people on too much game. No, 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 that was gas. I'm like, we better keep it rolling. Yeah, yeah, shit. Keep that shit rolling. I know we got you on, uh, on camera right now. Yeah, you think we I know what we're going to have to do, though, after we smoke this. Huh. Just because I have to to compare it to, even though it's not even a good batch of my shit. We got to smoke AstroTech. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm just saying. I know it's not a good batch of it. Based but, on me. But I, but I Anybody think... else who smoked it for the first time would like tell me it's really, really good. And even if they don't fucking know me and they're super deep in this game and there was issues with it. But now that I smoked some things, you know, that I liked, it would be cool to just give a compare the effects of it after. To AstroTech. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. And that's why we're fucking here. We're motherfucking Instagram <laughs> CEO of fucking Space Facts. Because oh, AstroTech is the best shit smoking. And it's only going to be found in certain fucking dispensaries. Like the same way we went and bought this shit and we're reviewing it. It's cool. Some of it is making us feel amazing. Some of, uh, some of it is making us feel whatever. <laughs> that Space Facts, every time I smoke it, I get happy. Ideas start to come. Nigga, I like Paul. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I know it's really funny. Like, bro, we make you feel good. Dumb, we make you feel dumb. I, I ain't lying, bro. Honestly, I never smoked this that many different brands because I never <laughs> give a fuck to. I only smoke gas, space packs. Hey, you know some real shit. I promise you, I'm not paying. Do this shit. There's not no pay sponsorship. None of that shit. Black Leaf Dog. This shit was probably fire when it first dropped, but it came out on. August 28, 2023, bro. How what day? Bro, we're in fucking... What's today's date? It's October. Oh, I, I forgot. I was talking about that. Bro, but the 21st is like Black Leaf, dog. I, wanna, I don't want to say no bad shit about no brand, but look. I was if y'all got some fresher shit for us to try, let me know, because this shit is not hitting me two months. Been but speaking. yeah, nah, man. I was doing some music shit and fucking with this dude named Jamie. You know, recipe Jamie. That's my boy. with Lamar's people. And they had the artist Ali Vegas and they had a label which saw entertainment. Lamar ended up on the Lakers. And I made friends with Jamie and I was doing the music shit. And ultimately, it was like, yo, we gonna get... <laughs> we gonna get a reality show with uh, somebody on the la like Lakers yeah. and his record label and his artist and his best friend we grew up with all moving to L.A. That's and we crazy. shot a pilot for all that shit, and then I got locked up. And then he ends up meeting Chloe while I was locked up getting married and ending up on the Kardashian shit. And Jamie, like I said, some shit happened to him. I got out, and then I ended up on some shit that I was on. And then I ended up getting sucked back into the entertainment game. Putting, you know what's crazy, Putting though? together that crazy shit with Sosa and shit. That's crazy. And fucking got and back into it. Then doing other shit. And then fucking getting sucked back into this weed shit because it was on the verge of being legal. And then one thing led to another to where all of a sudden I'm, you know, running, you know, some infrastructure, you know, that involves SOPs and genetics and, you know, fire ass weed and consistency and, you know, being able to manage the operation. And then all of a sudden, once you have all that shit dialed in, it became to having a fucking brand and doing this thing with the brand that's based on all that shit and then all my relationships in the entertainment game and growing up in LA and then went hand in hand with this weed shit to where it all came together and through certain people I even met with so through Sosa and certain people through this thing and that thing had me my network to where when I started building my, my whole life out here to building this fucking brand and, and then having this weed and these genetics Ended up just having a life of its own. And that's what I really wanted. I wanted the brand to have a life of its own, being its own living organism, and nobody being the face of a brand, just because it was just more powerful to me. And then there was, you know, certain things that I was doing that I'm, you know, to, to enhance that. And to be honest, the brand lived on even through me transitioning from where I was at to getting the legal infrastructure, which had a lot of curveballs in between, to where that's why I was off the map getting to where I needed to get to get ready for this legal market, which, you know what I mean? In a short period of time where I started having my fucking weed again, yeah, like, I started having my weed again. I like, you know, I like the Astro I, 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 I mean, like, <laughs> that's some real shit. Like, it's so funny. Everybody else gets blown off that shit, right? That's cool. Like, for me, I love the smell, and obviously I like the taste, but the way the effects are, 
I get high to where I'm not thinking about I'm not high, but like I'm actually more focused. Right. Yeah. It puts me. It gives me tunnel vision, bro. You heard what he said. He said that shit make him happy. Maybe I'm just you know what I mean. It puts me in my zone, but it's bro. not like oh, oh I have people. Bro. People can say I have a tolerance, but it's like nah, it's not like I have tolerance because I want to keep smoking this to where it's not like I'm sick of it. Yeah. Right. I'm not uh, sick of it. I don't get so that's why I really don't really smoke on the show. But I'm glad you brought certain things that I wanted to try. And there's certain people I definitely respect in this game and definitely have good products and I definitely would always like to check out and see. And like I said... That's why I want to get another the, shot at that Black Leaf, bro, because I know they got heat. I've tried their heat. We just need a... I don't know, bro. Hey, August smoking that shit, I feel bad, bro. I just want to fucking... Black Leaf, I know they doing their thing, but damn. Hey, man, that's what they're putting out. That's what I bought at the store, so fuck, feel bad for me, dog. I, I <laughs> Until it was fucking, you know what I mean? As big as it could without being legal. And I had the wave you were talking about, like, to the point where, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Motherfuckers were not happy. Motherfuckers were not happy, but it's cool. You know what I mean? Like, it's all, <laughs> you know, everything happened exactly how it's supposed to. Bro, and, and, and bro, and I got to give you your props, bro, because... A lot of other weed is not smoking like this, bro. I kept the cut alive, bro. I, tried, like, I, tried, I kept the cut alive this whole time. This is, the, this I, is our I, fifth, I this this our fifth episode. Hey. We're smoking different weed, bro. And we're still, on we're still coming back to AstroTech. And I built this brand off the quality of the weed and certain genetics, including this Nigga, if I find a backseat from your shit, we double it up. Hey, man. Shout out to, <laughs> my, you know, anybody who fucking was able to, you know, do that. And then, you know, maybe we can... You know, <laughs> see how good your version of it comes out. That's what I'm saying. This is gas. Yes. This is gas, bro. Because every version is always different. Everybody Yo, different. let me see the lighter. I'm about to light me some Astro Tech because well, you hogging that shit. You roll, oh, you roll another one? I had to, bro. Oh, you're smart. You're smart. Yeah, yeah, fuck with smart you. Smart guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. So, um, hey, on the next one, bro, like when we smoke, we should just all fucking just... We got we get the A and everybody just roll their own and smoke their own and give their own version of their own opinion. So yeah, shit. Like you know, COVID did happen, which definitely like slowed things down. But I still was in position to keep shit going, and then I elevated in certain ways to where, like, hey, there, it, you would have thought that things were gonna stay seamless. Yeah. But you know, we like I said earlier, I think we plan God laughs. There's always, you know, certain lessons that gotta be learned until you get to the destination. And it's all part of the fucking journey. Journey and what was already destined for lack of a better word. Um and yeah, so the, the brand stayed intact, the genetics stayed intact, the vision stayed intact, you know what I mean? Um the relationship stayed intact with the people that were supposed to be there at the end. Yeah, the market evolved. In all kinds of ways, but the goal was always what I said. I started this brand for the legal market, yeah. to have to be one of these timeless things at the end. So it, it was like it wasn't really about oh yeah, you can make that fast money, you know, in, that you know, in ways 
at certain times that aren't as... You're here for the long run, not the short run. Yeah, so, but, but it's like, motherfuckers already earned their stripes in that shit to where ain't nobody can say shit about that shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Period. So yeah. it's like the rap game and the weed game is the streets first. Even if it's not, you know, there's the fucking uh, Kid Cuddies and the, and the Chance the Rappers and right, shit. Right. I'm not, you know. And then, yeah, Chance might be on some whole nose. They might even be on some street shit first. Who fucking knows? No disrespect to them. Right. You know, you don't, you never fucking know what somebody's on. Yeah, exactly. I'm, saying, I'm, a, I'm a square white boy from West L.A., you know I'm what I mean? Saying, who went to private school. I'm the same. You know what I mean? Who happened to go to some really known business I'll, school and be good at sports and know this rap shit when he was a kid and ended up signing Sosa and doing all kinds of other shit. And you can Google all this shit and da 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 da. And then motherfuckers are from LA, had the fire before everybody, ended up with the fire again before everybody. And then it came to this branding shit and That's motherfuckers right. were in position before most people. There was, like I said, them Jungle Boys dudes, them connected dudes, Alien Labs. Yeah. You know, even the, you know, I got it, the Jokes Up dudes, they, 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 they were doing that shit. And then obviously Burner, shout out to Burner, Cookies. before damn near everybody I even mentioned on well, top of it all. Well, cookies so let's not forget, but even though, all, since I'm speaking on it, and what I this, wasn't let me trying say, to do all this. Let me tell you something about <laughs> cook, the Cookies brand, or Burner's brand. This is crazy. So it's a weed shit, right? The, they sell weed or whatever he does his thing. But you know he makes more money, bro, selling gear? Clothing. Uh, it's so funny you say that. So when I started this shit, I ain't gonna lie, I had the the building the brand. I built the brand off the apparel at the same time. You got it, well, you especially had to with the way the game was and legalization, to where you can't even post shit without getting your shit deleted. Yeah. So for me, it's like, oh, if I'm gonna start some shit, it's like the gear is important anyways because I want to be able to rock that shit. So the name mattered, fucking the, the artwork, the design, all that type of shit. But then for marketing and branding, you were going to create another revenue stream. And you fucking weren't going to get your shit deleted to where certain, and then certain people would promote that versus the weed. So it goes hand in hand. And then no one thought the market was going to crash to where now it's fucking closer, probably more profitable than weed. Yep. Unless you're getting like them Tenko prices. But that's and, the, and, and other people prices and oh the tenko you know. prices. Let's talk about the tenko prices. What y'all think about the tenko prices? What y'all think? What do you guys think? Or that's what we think, right? Hey, I think something is worth. Tenko I think something is worth what somebody's willing to pay for it. Okay, so that's, that's what I, I think. I'll tell you this. So tenko, there's no, there's no tenko. Look, there's no rules. I, I, I ain't hating on the blue Zeus way, but at this point now in the game, I think it's burnt. But before, I could see you getting that 600 Because, bro, Elephant's Growth, I don't know if you heard of I heard of them back in whatever. I had a watch, a watch guy who I used to get my watches from. Bro, but Elephant's he, Growth? He was, I, I, you know, I bought some crazy shit from that dude. But he was, growth? he was on to Elephant's Growth, but he was loving my shit back then during COVID. Like 2020 COVID. So then you're, we could get 600 to a band, a Zipper, Astral Tech. He was telling just said that. Look, that's what I'm dude, saying. like homeboy said, some dude who wrote some 500 page book, respect to him, that's the homie. Like, I didn't even know this fool from Adam. And fucking, we're passing this shit in a private event, da da da. He's like, oh, that's your shit? Yeah. I didn't even know he wrote the book until he started talking to the homie next to me about the book. To where I would have never even known he wrote the book and just kept fucking with him just because he was into the fucking, uh, that's what I'm trying to read the genetics. Yeah. You know what I mean? Which is actually the shit that keeps me going. Like, even Ernesto, same shit. He, he attracted the weed. I'm not that fucking cool. I'm not, you know, I'm not giving this fool racks yet. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait, bro. Yo, and you honestly, do, Yeah, motherfuckers just say shit on the strength. And when you know, like, people who know their shit or tapped in this shit can get free weed from anybody, buy whatever the fuck they want. But for whatever reason, go out of their way to keep smoking certain shit, even if it's not like the super dialed in batch. And that's add a ticket that's they can go get pounds right now for fucking a thousand dollars, but they're still willing to buy two zips a week for you know a stupid number compared to what they would pay for the pound. Like that goes to show you <coughs> something because it doesn't matter what I say, it don't matter what he say, it don't matter what you know Jenny from the block say but if it, a bunch of different people. But if you said it like that, you said just if they could get that, that's what's up, bro. You selling that for six to a band and you getting that? That's oh what's yeah. Up. Accident, but I'm just saying in general, it's all about for me. It's like it's what the people say, but then there's marketing and branding too, bro. Um, this week smoking, bro. 
Out of everything, bro, we smoke, bro. Out of, bro, I'm not gonna lie. All the episodes we've done, we've only done five so far. We've smoked a lot of different genetics. It's just fun, but we're gonna still keep it going. Well, this is, he's saying this ain't even but the bro, true batch yet. This, I know, but he's that's what I'm the, saying. That's crazy. This, this weed is like a Michael Jordan, bro. Like, these other so strains so look, so look, so in the game, they're good basketball players. They're good. So look, but bro, these, so look, you gotta I'm know what's up. I'm gonna keep it up. I had way crazier infrastructure than most people <laughs> at a certain time, and I was on this genetic shit before a lot of people. I'm not gonna say I was on it before JBZ or Capulator or dudes from Exotic Genetics or some of these breeders who we've been breeding for a lot, or even people with these lab shit. But I'm from LA. We knew we were smoking OGs before everybody. When y'all were on BCs and this and that. So when the OG market crashed, I happened to be in the position where I had the infrastructure, and I went crazy on this thing on shit, and I kept my top shit alive this whole time. So, yeah, I had the runs cut. I had the real shit. But this, and this was when runs was the wave, and nobody really had it. And ultimately, like, yeah, there was some other shit that was super fire, yeah, too. Was, was but fun. nothing was better than the runs. Yeah, that's, um, that's true. And that's, that's, that's true, though. ultimately, this was the only shit. shit that I liked better than it. On everything I love. Well, tell me. And I, I, I popped a lot of. Tell gear. me why they still want. I, 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 I had some capulator keepers. I had some sea junkie keepers. The capulator. I ran some have. compound gear. I ran, I ran exotic. You had the Mac one. Uh, I had some shit. Cause that's what he's known for. The yeah, he's, it had definitely it was Mac one in it. Yeah. It was a Mac. It was a Mac one. It was a Mac one cross. Caps cut. It was a Mac one cross. Mac one cross that I feed hunter from a seat. Yeah. And it's one of my casualties that I. Uh, which I still have, but I got something else to to make up for it in my in my stash when it's time. Like that deal was fire, dog. <clears throat> so yeah, I feel a lot of shit. People awesome. shit from the sea when the ocean water crashed. I had all these top cuts from all these top people, and the runs were top shit. The gelati was stupid fire. The forty one was cool. I had a thirty three that was good. Um, I had you know I popped a lot of people's gear that is not even going. I'm good, right? No, it's good, it's good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Huh? You're like, hello? Hello? <laughs> hey, we were on the phone, you're like, hello? That shit's on, right? Yeah, that was on, yeah. <laughs> I, I was tripping because when you were talking, I'm like, yo, I, I can't hear Grant no more. And I'm like, yo. Oh, man. shit. I, I, called, I, I was fucking faded. I went from. <laughs> I feel like my life's a movie set. Now we on the, the movie set. Hey, this Astro movie movie like, this Astro tech got me feeling different though. Bro. So crazy. Hey, they, they said it. They said it, not me. That shit. I'm Cause on. I, I preach on that shit. Oh, so it's not for me. For me, it's not like oh, who, oh I got mine is bigger than them. You know what I mean? That gay ass shit. Like you know what I mean? It's like <laughs> it's what the people say. Yeah, I, you know what I mean. And, and too, 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 too many of the people, you know. But yeah. I, I, I like all this shit. I like all this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I like all this shit. <laughs> nah, it's good shit. For real, for real. But they, they, they don't like the black leaf shit. That shit, I don't know why, it wasn't as smooth as the other two. The lanes had the, smooth, <laughs> the smoothest taste. So, so, all right. Let's make the list. <laughs> What's today's list? Um, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I haven't had that list. No, no, wait, so look, Astro Tech, no, Ray, 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 Reggie's and Jay Z. Yeah. <laughs> okay, no, 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 but as far as the best tried, so what? Uh, we yeah. tried coffee, candy. That was the first one. Second one was the lane. Third one was what? Black cherry from Black Leaf. And then the fourth one was Astro Tech. Where the space fans. We didn't even buy. Grant hooked us up. Smoke this out again with it. O- only because I kind of like wanted, I'm used to smoking my shit. But I'm saying it's funny, something that we didn't even buy today, it's kind of smoked everything we bought today. Uh, that's crazy, that's, that's crazy. And we smoked some brands that are super official, let's be honest. But the lanes are not like it's up there though. It's good. Lanes okay, but let's go. Shout out to Lanes. But let's, but let's, let's, be, honest. let's be honest, let's be honest. I know who Lanes is, but I bet most people don't know who Lanes is. Don't. And of the three, I'd say the Lanes is the least marketed of the three. That's crazy, huh? Of the three, I'd say Black Leaf has his, you know, it's they his podcast, you know and he's out there. You know why? You um, know do, do dudes look, from Atlanta, that? they're kind of doing their thing and we're out there. Mm. They let the weed do the talking. Maybe. Lanes lets the weed do the talking. They don't need a brand that shit. But I'm not saying the coffee candy's bad. It's like the Louis bag. They don't are. fucking make commercials. But, but the Lanes was better than the coffee candy. That shit killed that shit. It was it killed it. You know what's so crazy? Like I said, I feel on it so much shit, and there's so many... 
breeders that I thought were top breeders that I didn't even keep any of their shit. So it's like, I had like such, I had over 10 keepers and I had a bunch of maybes, you know what I mean? Yeah. And Astro Tech was the, became number one at the end of my fucking phenol hunt when I had 10 other keepers and other maybes. It wasn't like, oh, I just found this Astro Tech and it's that shit. Right. It's like, dude, I popped so many beans and so many top breeders, and then I had the real runs cut, the real whites from runs cut, but that was the hottest shit, but it wasn't even my own shit, but it didn't fucking matter because I was getting my motherfucking money on it. Right. You know right. what I mean? Right. You know what I mean? Was, but it was still like somebody else's shit. And it was so for making money, it was cool, but when it came far down the road, like I didn't know the game was going to play out like this, you know what I mean? No. And I might still have that run shit, I might not, you know what I mean? It doesn't even fucking matter. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is it was still their shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, you know what I mean? So it's like, it's almost like uh, re-rocking re some shit or selling some bootleg shit, but not really. Hey, but that's the game, bro. You get Man, you everybody was re-rocking shit. You I know you're re-rocking shit. Like, like, but then it's like, okay, there's Mercedes and there's BMW. Would you expect there not to be more than one car company? Right. Um, but the thing is, the Astro Tech was a, a pheno from hey, something right. that was I given to me as a seed. And I popped it. And it's a pheno that's not runs, it's not lemon cherry. You know what's crazy? It's fucking shit. loud as fuck and has a crazier nose than, than, than a lot of things. You know what's crazy? And, uh, that's to me what you just said. It's like making a hamburger, right? Mm -hmm. McDonald's make it, In and Out make it, whatever. Everybody makes a hamburger. <laughs> but why is people so like, oh, you can't. The Z cut was my cut. And people, well, it's there's like, a, hey, did you see like, that shit? There, I didn't, I didn't, yeah. go, I didn't go. You the, saw it. That's the, why I'm the, bringing the, it up. The fight, the fight, yeah. <laughs> fight, bro. There's a fight. Like, I, who was that, bro? It's, it had to do something hey, with the Skittles cut. It's a. Uh, hey, I'm gonna put it on blast just because it's. We have to. It was yeah. out there. We're not putting it on. That they ass on but that. But that's, what are y'all doing? That's the, well. That's the only reason I'm putting it on blast because it's already out there. Yeah. yeah. What are y'all doing? So what happened? Tell Ernesto, bro. This shit is crazy. Dude, and the funniest thing is when homeboy who looks like fucking um, Shrek kind of, you know what I'm saying? Is that Turk? He cool, he cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is it Turk? Homeboy from, yeah, yeah, the face of that shit. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the homie, though. He's the homie. I, I know he is. Though. I fucking yeah, 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 he cool. He, I shouldn't even call him Shrek, but he's just big and like ogre like that. <laughs> <laughs> But like not in a bad way, you know what I mean? He's just nah, like nah, massive, he's a you know? big dude. To where it's like homeboy from the other spot, you know what I mean? Hey, the other was hey it would almost been that. like him. He, he could have like, you I know, think the other foot was holding it down though. Oh uh, yeah, he was. He was on some like you know Ti type shit. Hey, <laughs> but when it say a heart of a lion, you know, da 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 Ti type shit, I was yeah. like, what happened? <laughs> Bro, so look, this is what I, what I was told. Grant could probably tell you better because Grant's in this, but. Supposedly they got confronted for the Z cut or something. No, so basically, long story short, back in the it's almost some shit where I even had some issues. Yeah. With the runs cut, I don't give a fuck. Like that shit a long time ago. I don't know, you know what I mean? Yeah. It, where it, motherfuckers it, were in their feelings about that. Let us know about this. Motherfuckers, this is real no, right right motherfuckers were in their feelings about that shit, but like they, they didn't even do shit wrong, so I really don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? It's the past, bro. Let us know. We're here no, now. but what I'm saying is, motherfuckers, motherfuckers, mother, motherfuckers could be together at one point. Yeah, you know, and then they want to fuck around. And then both of them, they split ways yeah. for a certain reason. So I see that happened today on the base. So I don't board. really, I don't know the real story about who had it first and whose cut it was and who did the, the real, who did the right thing and who did the wrong thing. Yeah, I could be a judge of it if I knew. Like I could be in, a, in, in situations that I lived, I could be a judge of it because. You can't tell me the reality of my situation. Yeah. You can't tell me there. You weren't there. You didn't see it. You don't know all the ins and outs. Yeah. But I was. So on my shit, I can say I didn't do anything wrong. But seeing a little things on the internet and this, that, that shit was corny though. Only because the game's so legal right now. They're at a legal event. If you're gonna do some shit, do it in the alley in the back. Yeah. Not a, that shit was. You know what I'm saying? Bro. Do it in the alley in the back. They made a whole show about it. But not only that, bro. But just. But they, 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 I don't know what they did it for. That's a little. Gross, was, I, I don't want to shit, but that's some gross shit. It was for people some, would say it's some what, gross shit. What was it for? Grant, let them know. It was for like some genetic shit that I. No, it's not. The, the original Skittles either I, came from them dying breeds dudes or from the turp hops dudes. Exactly. And there's multiple stories that like I don't know them that long. Uh, they're trying to claim. I don't even know, bro. From Don Green. So look, look, this is what I'm. So let me just. Uh, but I, got, I got some. I got some. Just, I got just, some shit. Just so what I was. Why I brought it up. Believe that. So like, I got some shit that's coming. Nah, but this is the reason why I brought it up, bro. Because <laughs> like, motherfuckers is fighting for a Z cut. You know, you have one. Yeah. It's not like you're gonna claim the Z cut or whatever, but motherfuckers is claiming the cut. Right. Who cares? Whatever. In a day, motherfuckers gonna always grow it different, and it's like. 
arguing over a better burger you can get. Bro, I make a burger, you make a burger. Well, there's the, 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 the shit. You know the funny thing is? It's, it's like in other types of business, though, it, there'd be infringement. Yeah. So, like, why, but, but why in the weed shit, it's open game and there's no gatekeeping? Cause, cause, say. Why, cause, why is it different? Because as a. The big companies haven't structured shit yet. But eventually it's going to be like that or no? Yeah. So, so technically, do they have a point? Yeah. They, they do, have a point. They I do. It's like even me. Like, I know somebody who has point. I know somebody who, they do, I know somebody who has shit in my shit. Hey, but who did, did, say, who, who did some funny I got like, uh, some funny That's shit. That's what I'm saying. But guess what? Did they do that? Did they do that? God, God works in mysterious ways. You know what I mean? But did they do that? <laughs> like, okay, like how you just said. They, there's somehow, some way... Either they got the cut from him or from somebody that they knew or so it's like, bro, I think that You're they, saying who is the real origin of any of it. Exactly. But that's the same thing with anything. I can say I have an idea for something called, let's just say space packs. And that's what I'm trying no, to No, but if I didn't trademark it first, that shit wouldn't have been mine. Yeah. Right. So is that you know if, Who trademarked uh, Skittles first? I don't think you can even use that name. I think Beater Fields and the Turpod Suits, I think they had a big lawsuit. For the Zika, huh? There was a period of time before even the beef about these two was super public, where like they were involved in a lawsuit over like the name Taste the Rainbow or Skittles. I don't yeah. know. And I don't even know if the jokes up the run dudes ended up having to go backtrack and start jokes up. Maybe they were going to anyways, but I think they might have legal issues with the name Runts. Maybe not. I don't know. At least at some point, maybe. Yeah, because that's the uh, Willy Wonka shit. Right? Yeah. Right. Bro, I don't. Yeah. But I, I don't know. They, they, was, they, they both work with each other, work for each other. I don't know. Who's What's the Runs brand made with though? Like the actual like mark. I don't know. What do you mean? Like the candy's made by Runs. You know how like Kit Kat oh. is made by Nestel? Who do you want this? Hell yeah. But something like that. Do Runs. you think? Yeah. I'm just fading. My thing is this. Okay, so I smoked everything. I think and I don't even like. Before I don't like, like. I know. Don't you think it's corny to name tree after a candy though? I kind of never was into the whole. No, don't don't you notice how none of my shit is like super, super uh, cartoony and loud color? No, that, I, that's why I like. I'm it. not. I'm not. I'm not knocking it. But I, that just was never my style. I'm never gonna knock it either. But I'm just saying it's kind of weird how like that shit was up and people followed it and it's just like. That's just kind of whack. I like keep it. This branding that you got is pretty dope. Bro. I just thought it was more like something that's more tasteful to me as a person and the kind of way I it's like. Simple, you know. For me, it was like if I'm gonna like I said, like starting a brand was like corny. If I had to do that shit, it had to be something I would want to rock like the clothes. It would have to be something that I would want around me and didn't fuck up my vibe or my my whole. You know, I'm from yeah, LA. Okay, I'm like, the most superficial. And I feel like that's LA in this fucking country. Because everything and then you said, I, I was just, in this rap shit it. where everything you know mattered, like the the way your shirt shoes were clean. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it was all about like that's LA, thing, LA shit, you know, image shit, moving a certain way shit, you know, swag for lack of better shit, and then. You know, you live that your whole life, you know, from, you know, whatever, whatever. And all of a sudden you guys start, you might know how to, if, if you know what's cool, if you know what's cool and everything you always like, everybody else likes, and then you got to start your own shit and you know if everybody likes what you like, basically, you know, you got swag, you know, and you know you're going to pick something that People if you like, like it, they all going to like it, yeah. period. So for me, that like, you know, that's how it works. That's just kind of how that unfolded. <laughs> but there's other people who don't do the super cartoony stuff who run the same kind of image yeah, and vibe. Too. Not but, that, but, that, but, the, but that cartoon cutout shit is super you know, this and that. And I'm not even knocking the cutout shit. One day I'm not just cutout shit. But, the, the, but do it nice and simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the core, yeah. The SP would be nice as a die cutout back right there. You know? With the little globe around it. You could just look at it earlier. This would be the die cut. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're looking for your phone. Yeah, where I put it? Bro, you left the charger over there, didn't you? Where? I don't know. I don't think I have too much from over here, did I? Oh, uh, no, I think the phone over there. I think your phone over Maybe there. Maybe it is. Oh, your phone dropped right here, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we faded, bro. We that faded. Awesome tech to... got me going. I, well, hey, yo, with that being said, let's end this shit, man. We did. We, we talked about a lot of different shit, and there's so much more we could even talk All about. All right, any shout outs you want to give out, Grant, to anybody? Or is it smoking? Because that's it for today. Um, I just want to shout out the homies for inviting me to Is It Smoking? Yes, sir. Um, Thanks for having us. And everybody who shit played a part in me getting to hear whatever that's worth, I'm very appreciative and supportive. And fuck all that fake shit, because that shit ain't cool. Yeah, yeah, that's what's up, man. 
Yes, I sir. appreciate you all having hey, us. For the record, hey, for the record, Greg, you probably the coolest white boy I know, nigga. Hey, nah, I'm crazy. Crazy. nah, real yeah. shit. Hey, it's funny you say that shit. Hey, real I ain't shit. gonna lie. Hey, real shit. He is a cool <laughs> white boy, man. <laughs> hey. All right, man. Our next time is is it smoking? <laughs> Yes, sir. Is it smoking? Make sure to subscribe. Thank you for supporting. And uh, make sure to comment, ask some questions. And shit, if you agree with us or disagree with any of the shit we said, comment, man. Shit, it's a or community. Bring some tree out here, bro. I need some fucking. God. Yeah, let us know what other flavors we should have on the next episode of Is It Smoking?